The following is a special presentation from the WKLM Sports Department. It's time now for high school basketball from your hometown radio station, FM 95.3 WKLM. Good evening, Highland, the second-ranked team in Division IV, a record of 19-2. They won seven games in a row, taking on the Wayndale Lady Golden Bears with a record of 16-4, and, and they won three straight. Stay tuned. I'll have a conversation with both head coaches on the pregame show on WKLM. Millersburg Electric has been serving the area since 1945 with quality sales and service of home appliances. And now, during the President's Day Super Sale, get selected savings throughout the store. Hi, this is Carrie Taylor, and as a member of one of the nation's largest appliance buying groups, we offer inventory levels and pricing equal or better than all of those larger stores. With over 250 items on display and thousands available, let our experienced staff show you the latest in kitchen appliances, laundry products, freezers, and more. Visit us on State Route 83 south of Millersburg or 24-7 at millersburgelectric.com. Denco Marketing of Millersburg has customers in all 50 states, Canada, and South America. Each day, over 300 shipments of garage door parts are shipped to customers everywhere by Denco Marketing. And while Denco Marketing appreciates this wide and varied market in the country and in the world, the thing they appreciate most is where they are located, home. That's why they support various community activities and devote as much attention to here as to there. At Denco Marketing, the most important business at hand is the business of home. Everyone knows that Millersburg Tire Service sells a lot of farm tires like BKT, Seat, Firestone, Michelin, Titan, Galaxy, D-Stone, and Lions. Hi, this is Brad Smucker from Millersburg Tire Service, and we also sold over 10,000 heavy-duty truck tires last year in 29 different brands. We can mount them in our truck bay, or we can drop them off. If it runs on tires, Millersburg Tire Service has it, or we can get it from the many suppliers that we have available. Plus, we sell tires in Ohio and all the surrounding states. When you want the best, call Millersburg tire service at 330-674-1085 and talk to one of our knowledgeable sales staff celebrating our 70th year in the tire business. At Home Siding Contractors, our mission is to give homeowners a quality product. Whether it's our vinyl siding or our energy efficient replacement windows and doors, Home Siding Contractors is ready to turn your home into one of your biggest energy saving assets. You'll notice the difference as your home will stay warmer in the winter and cooler in the summer. Call 888-725-6619 for a in-home estimate or find all of our products at homesiding.com. Stop by Roadies IJ for great Valentine's Day specials now through February 14th while supplies last at the Posey Pad Floral Shop. This is Scott Roadie, and the Posey Pad has everything you need for that someone special. Fresh cut flowers, fresh arrangements, potted plants, candles, candy, plush animals, cards, and so much more with specials you'll adore. We deliver to all of Holmes County, but order early to ensure delivery by Valentine's Day by calling 674-6399. That's 674-6399. Get savings you'll love during the Valentine's Day sale at the Posey Pad Floral Shop inside Rody's IJ Marketplace in Millersburg. Call Berlin Heating and Cooling, your Ream Pro partner, and you know you're calling the very best. Berlin Heating and Cooling services and installs Ream and all other types of furnaces and equipment. Berlin Heating and Cooling, they're your local team you can trust. Call them today at 330-893-3057. That's 330-893-3057. Before the Tip is brought to you by Village Motors of Millersburg. Alongside Wayne Dale Lady Golden Bears head basketball coach, that is Rick Geyser, record of 16 and 4 this season and 10 and 2 in the Wayne County Athletic League. And Rick was talking about the Wayne County Athletic League. You'll get once again another strong conference and really a great battle all season long with all the teams. Yeah, the Wayne County League is never going to be easy. I think uh, there's a lot of talent in the league, and from uh, uh, playing the likes of Chippewa and, and Smithville and Norway and down the road, Dalton's got a solid young crew. I mean, we just keep uh, getting tested every night out. So it's a it's a great league to play in. It's a great league to get you ready for the tournament. And, uh, you know, we got a really tough week this week with Highland and Chippewa here at home. And so uh, we're, we're really glad that we'll get our – Selves uh, tested this week. I say, Rick, that's the way you like it, right? You you want to have these tough tests going into the postseason play. Yes, and we we build up our schedule this year. It's the toughest schedule that a Wayndale girls basketball team's probably ever played uh, to get us ready for for the tournament. So you know, I think uh, 
we've been battle tested a little bit this year. And now we just got to keep working on being a little more consistent with everything that we do. Always the battles you talked about taking on Highland. What stands out to you about this year's Highland team you're taking on? Well, they have a veteran crew. Uh, they got uh, Ashley obviously at the point and, and just controls everything. Uh, Mallory and Joplin can really score it. And then they got shooters around them as well that play really hard. Uh, Brady does a great job coaching them and they're, they're detailed with everything and they're going to be prepared. So it's a great test. Now we, we purposely have this game be before we go in the tournament to have both of us get uh, uh, get tested and, and see where we're at. And work with all the offense on both sides. Both teams seem to really build themselves on that defensive end first, correct? Yes, we, we pride ourselves on defense has got to show up every night. Uh, sometimes you're going to make shots. Sometimes you're going to have a rough night there. But if you if you defend, you always give yourself a chance. So that's where we start. Aside from those things, Rick, anything else that stands out keys wise for your team here tonight? I think uh, you know rebounding, you know limiting their second chance opportunities. Make sure you take care of the ball so that you get you get those opportunities uh, on on the offensive side. Uh, and so, you know, the rebounding and, and turnover differential is usually a, a big key in these big games. Rick, thanks for your time. Thank you. That's Wayne Doe, Golden Bears head basketball coach, Rick Geyser. Get your vehicle back on the road smooth and problem-free with Village Motors Collision Center. Hi, this is Deke Miller, and our Collision Center works on all makes and models and has available deductible assistance, along with loaner and rental vehicles available for your use, complimentary oil change packages, not to mention that we are the preferred repair shop for most insurance companies. Ask us about our cleanup packages with four great packages from basic to premium by appointment only starting at $19.95. For collision repair, make your first stop at Village Motors in Millersburg. Alongside the Highland Lady Hawks at basketball coach Brady Stable on the road against this Wayne Dale team, Brady, and really a great way to cap off the regular season. Yeah, you know, another chance to have a tournament like atmosphere with a high level tournament team. Uh, kind of schedule these games this Smithville towards the end of the season to, uh, you know, kind of use it as a tournament prep. So, really excited to get rolling. You kind of look at these two teams somewhat the mirror images of each other just in terms of they like to play tough uh, tough schedule through all year as Wayne Dale does, as you guys do. Uh, a strong emphasis on the defensive end. You know you're going to get that from Wayne Dale, certainly. Yeah, absolutely. They get after it. They play super hard. They're very disciplined defensively. Um, and so we're going to have to try to exploit little things tonight. Um, you know, for us offensively, are we able to push the ball and, and create good shots for each other and um, still do well on the, uh, the rebounding side of things? Like we have all year, but... You know, against good, disciplined teams like this tonight, it's it's tough to, to continue to do that. So hopefully we can. And Brady, you kind of saw that there a couple of games ago when he took on Smith, though, and got that close win. Yeah, absolutely. You know, I felt like our girls battled extremely well. Um, they, they're they a physical team, and um, it's very easy to kind of back down a little bit from that. And I felt like our girls, you know, battled back, handled that pretty well, and uh, was still able to play our game. As well as this team has played, ready? Anything else you're looking from your team here? As you mentioned, uh, this final game before you get into the postseason next week. Well, you know, with Smithville and Strasburg, we were starting to get uh, some other kids stepping up. Uh, some of our role kids doing some new things on the floor, being aggressive with it offensively, but also defensively taking on uh, some new roles. So hopefully, we continue to see them kind of step up. Health wise, how's the team doing? Ready to roll. All right, Brady. Well, thanks for your time. Appreciate it, Matt. Thanks. That's Lexal Highland Lady Hawks at basketball coach Brady Schleyball. Before the tip has been brought to you by Village Motors of Millersburg. Millersburg Electric has been serving the area since 1945 with quality sales and service of home appliances. And now, during the President's Day Super Sale, get selected savings throughout the store. Hi, this is Kerry Taylor, and as a member of one of the nation's largest appliance buying groups, we offer inventory levels and pricing equal or better than all of those larger stores. With over 250 items on display and thousands available, let our experienced staff show you the latest in kitchen appliances, laundry products, freezers, and more. Visit us on State Route 83 south of Millersburg or 24-7 at millersburgelectric.com. Are you looking for a bank that understands your local needs? Look no further than Kilbuck Savings Bank. We're your neighbors, your friends, and your partners in financial success. At Kilbuck Savings Bank, we pride ourselves on offering personalized service tailored to you. We are a community bank that is large enough to help you achieve your goals while continuing to care about the communities we serve. We wish all teams the best of luck this season. KSB, a Bauer five-star financial rated bank, member FDIC, Equal Housing Lender.
Broman & Byler in Millersburg is a local full-service accounting firm. Hello, this is John Byler. We offer a complete range of services from tax, business, and estate planning to bookkeeping and payroll services. When choosing a financial advisor at tax time, choose Broman & Byler at 161 North Washington Street in Millersburg. You can reach us at 330-674-8222. Are you having ongoing issues with your flat or low slope roof? MEB Systems of Sugar Creek specializes in flat or low slope roofs and has been serving the community and beyond since 1977. Whether it's tracking down or resolving that persistent leak, you are in need of a complete roof replacement, or you have a new build, MEB Systems will strive to find the best solution for you. They believe if a job is worth doing, it's worth doing right. Call MBB Systems Incorporated today at 330-852-4333 and visit them online at mebsystems.com. MBB Systems wishes all Holmes County athletes a safe and healthy season. Sierra Pacific Windows and Doors are MRV Siding Supply. Their products enhance any decor and make any home brighter, more inviting, and more comfortable with all wood windows in nine wood species with 59 exterior colors. Whether you're replacing, renovating, remodeling, or rebuilding, they have exactly what you're looking for. From their Sierra Pacific Transcend Replacement Windows and Doors to their Westchester Double Hung Windows, that's MRV Siding Supply on County Road 624 in Middlesburg or on the web at mrvsiding.com. Get your siding supplies from the Siding Guys, MRV Siding Supply. Are you ready to tackle home improvement with the winning team? Look no further than Wayne Door, your MVP for all things doors and windows. Score big with their championship lineup. Garage doors, openers, entry and storm doors, windows, patio doors, and more. Just like a winning play, Wayne Door offers an unbeatable sales team, flawless installation, and game-changing service. Their local experts ensure you're always in the lead. Don't settle for anything less. Visit them today at WayneDoor.com or stop by their showroom and elevate with your home improvement improvement game with the experts. Wayne Door, people you can trust since 1973. A 12-3 lead after one. The Highland came back as they kind of chip away at that deficit. They were down 18-10 at halftime, in fact, to Wayne Dale. But a big third quarter was the key. Highland outscoring Wayne Dale 19-6 in the third. And they led 29-24 through three. And each team would trade off 13 points apiece in the fourth. And the Highland got the five-point victory at 42-37 over Wayne Dale a season ago. In that contest uh, for the two teams, the Highland would connect on 7 of 23 pointers for 35%. Wayne Dale was 4 of 21 for 19%. Highland shot 32% from the floor, while Wayne Dale shot 36%. Highland also 7 of 13 for the foul line for 54%. Wayne Dale was 3, just 3 of 4 for 75%. And Highland in the game. Actually, Wayne Dale out rebounding Highland by 3, 28 25. However, Wayne Dale was doubled up on the turnovers. Wayne had 12 turnovers in the game, just six for Highland in that victory for Highland last year, 42-37. For Highland individually, they were led by Ashley Mullet, who had 19 points, while Mallory Stutzman had 10 points and six rebounds. Joplin Yoder had nine points and six boards in a Highland win. For Wayne in the loss last year, led by Adessa Miller, she had 14 points and five rebounds. Alyssa Geyser had eight points and four boards. And McKenna Bainey, seven points and five rebounds rebounds last year in Highland's five-point win over Wayne Dale in the recenter. Highland, of course, they uh, captured the uh, co-championship last year in the IBC South with Tusky Valley going 11-1 in conference play, and Highland went 16-6 during the regular season. Wayne Dale finished up as co-champions in the Wayne County Athletic League. Three teams finished up as the, the top teams in the league. Smithville, Wayne Dale, Chippewa, all going 12-2 last year. Wayne Dale went 21-4 during regular season action. Highland, of course, went all the way to the Division IV state semifinals where they would fall to eventual state champion Tri-Village by the score 51-34. Wayne Dale in Division III, they would advance to the district championship where they would fall to fellow Wayne County Athletic League team Chippewa in that district title game 53-43 in last year's D3 district championship. Stay tuned. We'll have more to come on the pregame show after this on WKLM. 
Taking on a large exterior home project is no small task. When you're looking for the best options in roofing, siding, windows, and doors, Provia products are the clear choice. At Provia, quality is engineered into the product, integrity is never compromised, and local craftsmanship delivers a stunning final result that will last for generations. Our experts at Kime Home Center are here to help you explore the possibilities. Visit Kime in Charm, Ohio. Kime, built on trust since 1911. Did you know that one of the nation's top hospitals was founded right here in Holmes County? It's true. Pomerine Hospital was recently named the top 20 rural and community hospital by the National Rural Health Association. For 75 years, Pomerine has applied the latest medical expertise to meet the unique needs of our community. And today, they continue to lead the way in reliable patient outcomes, from outpatient services to life-saving surgeries. Learn more about the many ways Pomerine provides award-winning care right in your backyard. Visit pomerinehospital.org. Hi, I'm Eugene with Yoder Family Roofing and Spouting. We are located in Millersburg, Ohio, and have been serving our community for the past 25 years. When was the last time you thought about having your roof inspected or spouting cleaned? You can find us online at yoderfamilyroofing.com or by giving us a call or text at 330-695-3000. Again, that's 330-695-3000 for all your roofing and spouting needs. Critchfield Law Firm has always been dedicated to providing the highest quality legal services to their clients throughout Holmes County and surrounding areas. Critchfield Law Firm also understands the dedication of our youth. From the classroom to the music room to athletics, Holmes County's best is represented in every academic area. Critchfield Law Firm in Millersburg, wishing all who participate the best in their endeavors. Whatever Mother Nature has in store, you're not worried because you've got Yokohama's Geolander AT G015 on your side. Stop by Holmes Tire LLC to find out what a new set of all-terrain tires can do for your truck or SUV. This tire is all traction designed to take you from the pavement to the trail in any weather, anytime you want. Discover the Yokohama Geolander AT G015 and get ready to experience what all-terrain is all about. Stop by Holmes Tire LLC today and fill out a finance application for approval with no credit needed on new tire purchases. Call Holmes Tire LLC in Millersburg. 330 or their other locations in Spencer, Mount Vernon, and now open in Loudonville. Time is ticking and your dream home is waiting. This is Ben Hershberger at the Commercial and Savings Bank. We understand that buying a home can be overwhelming, but with CSB, it's easier than ever. We offer a range of options. Whether you're looking to buy, build, refinance, or improve your home, our mortgage lenders will guide you every step of the way. Visit our website at csb1.com to apply online today and turn your dream into a reality. The Commercial and Savings Bank, where home ownership begins. Member FDIC equal housing lender. Hyla comes in as the second ranked team in Division 4. Their only two losses still coming back in the classic of the country to two D1 schools. Of course, they fell to Reynoldsburg, 55-46, a 49-46-39 a loss to Olmstead Falls. That's the only losses this year. Hyla has won one seven straight entering this game in a record 19-2 as they'll play the final game of the regular season here tonight. For Waynedale, another outstanding season themselves this year. As for Waynedale, they lost back in their second game of the season as they fell to Hoban and that was at the thrill in the Deville in that uh, the tournament there going down 51 to 45 a six point loss to Hoban also a two point loss at Chippewa by the score of 50 to 48 they lost in a close one by just two points at Smithville 36 to 34 so all losses have been very tight games and also lost their last loss coming back on January 31st they fell to Copley at home also a two point loss there 48 to 46. They won three straight since then. Waynedale has a record of 16 and 4. Highland is averaging 59 points per contest as a team. Waynedale averaging 54 a game. And defensively, the Lady Hawks allowing 30 and a half points per contest. Waynedale gives up just over 33 points per contest on the defensive end. Highland, of course, captured another IBC South Division title, their 29th consecutive IBC championship. They went unbeaten this year at 12 and 0, followed by Tuskegee Valley at 10 and 2. Ridgewood 8 and 4. 
Indian Valley and Sandy Valley 5 and 7. Well, Hiraway went 2 and 10, Claymont 0 and 12. Strasburg won the IVC North Division now, right going 12 and 0. And West Storms right now clinching at least a share of the OCC Championship at 13 and 1. They're four straight. And Mansfield Senior has one game to go for a chance to share that with West Storms, or if they will lose, West Storms will win the conference outright. And also in the Wayne County Athletic League, it is Chippewa who has clinched the outright Wayne County Athletic League title at 13 and 0. Wayne Dale in second place at 10 and 2, and Smithville just behind them at 10 and 3. Of course, Wayne Dale has one more conference game to go against Chippewa on Thursday, and then they'll determine whether they finish up alone in second place or tied for second with Smithville in the Wayne County Athletic League action. We'll take a break and back some comments from Troy Fritz right after this on the pregame show on WKLM. The employees of Holmes Wayne Electric Cooperative work hard and wear many hats at the cooperative. But that dedication goes beyond providing power to keep the lights on. They also are very active in their communities. Some volunteer at their local church, others are coaching youth, and some giving back through working for their township or community board. So what makes this cooperative different? They focus on people. Holmes Wayne Electric, always here for their members, always here for their community. Configuring the Bluetooth, deciding who controls the music, remembering where you parked. Why are simple things sometimes so complicated? Thankfully, with an auto owner's insurance independent agent, getting the right coverage for your vehicle doesn't have to be one of them. So you can get back to more important things, like remembering if you're on the third or fourth level of the parking garage. That's simple human sense. Visit Hummel Group in Berlin, Mansfield, Newark, Orville, and Worcester, or online at HummelGRP.com. A single-family home located at 5181 Eagle Drive in Millersburg is listed for sale by Kaufman Realty and Auctions with an asking price of $450,000. This property was built in 2017 and has three bedrooms and two full baths with 1,713 square feet. Located in the Hawks Landing subdivision within the East Holmes Local School District. For more information or to choose a date and time to see this property, contact Nolan Mackey at 330-231-0028 or check it out at KaufmanRealty.com. Fikert Concrete, located on County Road 189 between Benton and Holmesville, specializes in ready-mixed concrete and state-approved limestone, sand, and gravel. All mixed styles are available, and you can count on fast, dependable delivery and competitive prices. Fikert Concrete has served homes and surrounding counties for over 75 years. Call Fikert Concrete today for all your concrete needs at 674-0038. Remember, for quality concrete, it's Fikert Concrete. When it comes to service, nobody cares more than Village Motors in Millersburg. This is Deke Miller, and I'm proud to say that we have state-of-the-art equipment and factory-trained technicians working on your vehicle when you visit. And we also offer a variety of preventative maintenance programs designed to greatly reduce the cost of your service visits. We are competitive, convenient, and we care. So the next time you need your vehicle service, stop by and see us at Village Motors in Millersburg. The President's Day Super Sale is underway at Millersburg Electric. Get savings to at the store, including lottery specials from GE, Electrolux, and the top-rated Speed Queen line. Or get a 27-cubic-foot GE French door refrigerator for just $1,299. Switch from refrigerator to freezer with the flick of a switch with the Element 17-cubic-foot convertible refrigerator or freezer for just $699. Qualify customers get no interest and no down payments until February 2025. Millersburg Electric on State Route 80 3 South in Millersburg or 24 7 at MillersburgElectric.com. Highland's first sectional tournament game will be on Wednesday, February 21st. 7 o'clock at Highland is the top seed. They'll play host to the 17 seed TCC. Wayne Dale, their first tournament game will be on the exact same night on the 21st at 7 o'clock. They'll be the six seed and playing host to the 42 seed Beachwood in Division Three. Back away alongside Troy Fritz for the night's broadcast, and uh, this should be a classic girls high school basketball matchup for Wayne Dale tonight. We've been talking about this one for a week, Matt. We've had this one circled for a while, and this has got all the, all the fields of tournament 
tournament time still in the regular season, this is going to be a good one. This is kind of dealt with a little bit of a rivalry here, you think, over the years, because every year it seems like this game's on the schedule, and both teams want to play each other, especially late in the year. I think that's a good point. This has become kind of a friendly rivalry, because both teams, obviously we know Highland plays at a high level. Wayne Dale is building a strong program over here. They've been there for the last several years, so these two teams like to get together, mix it up, and see who they are. And perfect for Highland, their final game of the regular season yeah. before postseason. Wayne Dale has this game. They have Chippewa on Thursday, so you can really pick up more better games here to get you ready for a postseason you play. Know, both teams are getting what they want with that tough matchup going into tournament time. There's a double-edged sword. You want to play good teams, but you got to come out of these games healthy because tournament time's right around the corner. We saw Highland and Smithville last week. That was a physical ball game. So we're going to expect to see more of that tonight. So we're going to see a good hard game here tonight. Should be a great one, Matt. Highland's played outstanding basketball for Wayne Dale. All their losses, just a nip and tuck, two-point losses here. So I'm sure they like to get that marquee win as well. Well, they have. they got to feel a little bit snake bit. You read off all those two-point losses. So, you know, Wayne Dale's an extremely good basketball team. Again, to your point, they play a tough schedule. They've loaded up. So, you know what? Don't throw the records out the window. These teams have loaded up this year because of the new RPI system. They're doing it the right way, and it sets the stage for great high school basketball. We'll see what happens. Troy Fritz will be back around with tonight's starting lineups. Then the opening tip on WKLM. When you're thinking of an old-fashioned smokehouse flavor, think Sugar Valley Meats. They cure their own ham and bacon in the old-fashioned smokehouse, uses hickory, apple, and sassafras. Processing, curing, and custom butchering are available. Cut to your specifications. Stop in and see all the products that they offer. That's Sugar Valley Meats on Dutch Valley Drive in Sugar Creek. Turn left at the light, and Sugar Valley Meats is one quarter mile on the right. Call today, 330-852-4423. MRV Sunning Supply is introducing another line of stone called Casa de Sassi, where old world charm meets modern luxury. Whether you're looking to enhance your outdoor space or add a touch of sophistication to your interior design, their wide range of products will meet your every need. Choose from a variety of styles and colors to create the perfect ambiance for your space. Casa de Sassi, where timeless beauty meets exceptional quality. Discover the possibilities at MRV Sunning Supply on County Road 624 in Middlesburg or on the web at mrvsunning.com. Get your siding supplies from the Siding Guys, MRV Siding Supply. At Promotion Therapy Services, customer service and specialized treatment options are what set us apart. We work hard for our patients day in and day out. Our team of physical and occupational therapists are conveniently located for you in the heart of Millersburg. Can't come to us? We'll come to you with our team of therapists who specialize in home health services. We make it easy to receive physical therapy, emphasizing a close relationship with your physician as well as helping you navigate the insurance process. Our team is excited to begin offering new services such as dry needling, sports-focused rehab, foot orthosis consultations, and taping. With questions, call us, 330-600-0844, or visit us online at promotion-therapy.com. We look forward to promoting a better you and would like to wish all winter sports a safe and healthy season. Everywhere, every day, someone somewhere needs someone to care. Young people are especially desirous of someone to show an interest in what they do, where they are going, and what they will become. Denco Marketing of Millersburg believes taking that interest in a young person can make all the difference. Which young person needs your time and interest? Whichever one or ones you can give it to. They'll take care of the rest. Supporting young people in all endeavors is especially important to Denco Marketing of Millersburg, where the business at hand is the business of home. Have you experienced the difference of hometown independent pharmacy lately? If not, now is the perfect time to start. Premier Pharmacy inside Rhodes IGA is now open and accepting new patients. This is Joel Gauss from Premier Pharmacies in Berlin and Millersburg inviting you to come experience the Premier Pharmacy difference. We want to be your teammate as you navigate the complex world of healthcare, offering you consistent, fast service and always being available to answer whatever questions you may have. Call us or stop in today. We will transfer all your active prescriptions from your current pharmacy so you don't have to worry about a thing. That's why we are Premier Pharmacy, your hometown independent pharmacy. There's nothing better than the sound of a hammer, a drill, and a saw. a and Builders in Berlin has been putting all of those tools to work for the past 25 years. If you need re-roofing work done, a &R Builders is the place to call. They'll also do new homes for both residential and general contractors, along with pool buildings, decks, and custom framing. Call a &R Builders in Berlin at 893-2111. That's 893-2111. Hey 
And tonight's starting line is brought to you by Finish Line Auto Body, located on the north side of Millersburg. If your car is Davis, the best place to get it back in the game is at Finish Line Auto Body. Now for tonight's starting laps, here's Troy Fritz. And thank you very much, Matt. For Highland tonight, the visiting team, they'll go with their 5'6 sophomore guard in Evie Mast, a 5'8 inch junior guard in Trish Troyer. The 5'10 inch senior forward is Mallory Stutzman. The 5'8 senior guard, Ashley Mullet. And in the middle for Highland, they'll go with their 5'11 junior forward in Joplin Yoder. And for Waynedale tonight, they'll go with number two, their 5'7 senior guard is Alyssa Geyser, a 5'7 inch senior guard, Adessa Miller, a 6' senior forward in the middle, that'll be Cheyenne Chupp, a 5'7 senior guard in McKenna Bainey, and their 5'7 sophomore guard is Kylie Geyser for Waynedale. They had highlighted a record of 19 and 2. They're coached by Brady Stable in his second season. Wayne Dale, a record of 16 and 4, coached by Rick Geyser in his sixth year. And the starting line is brought to you by Finish Line Auto Body. They have experts in collision repair and paint jobs. Who have your car looking brand new? They'll even help with up to $500 of your insurance deductible. Give Brooks a call 674-1483. Back away alongside Troy Fritz and Michael Hammond. Back at WKLM Sports Central. Glad to have you with us on FN9. 95.3 and WKLMFM.com. We're also video live streaming tonight's contest on the WKLM YouTube page, courtesy of our partnership with Claxton Communications. Casey Claxton is producing tonight's live stream covers. Sean Troyer working the cameras. You can go to YouTube, search WKLM Radio to find the live stream coverage for tonight's contest. And uh, Troy, packed crowd, it's loud. Just what it should be for a game like this. Well, it is. This is a, this is exactly the type of atmosphere you're looking for. Him. We got a couple good matchups tonight here. You want to watch on the floor tonight. Watch Ashley Mullet. Watch Adessa Miller from Wayne. Dale. For Highland, you watch Joplin Yoder. For Wayne Dale, take a look at Cheyenne Chupp down underneath. Those are going to be your two battles tonight, and this should be a really good one. Should be a lot of fun. Wayne Dale with their home white jerseys, white shorts, and also golden rules and black trim. Highland of the road, black jerseys and black shorts, red rules and white trim as well. Just about underway for girls high school basketball from Wayne Dale. And getting set to jump for Highland as per usual. Joplin Yoder is a 5'11 junior. And uh, jumping on the other end for Wayne Neal, it'll be Cheyenne Chump. She's a six foot senior. And there is the whistle. There is the toss. It'll be won by Wayne Neal going left to right. Pass inside quickly. Wide open Alyssa Geiser. Her layup is going to be no good. Rebound grabbed by Ashley Mullen. Highland basketball the other way going right to left. Now Trish Troyer left wing back to Ashley Mullen. Dribbles it back near midcourt to reset the offense. Bounce pass left to the foul line. Joplin Yoder looking. Shovels it out top Ashley Mullen. Mullen. Pass to the court. Trish Troyer with a three-pointer going to be in and out and no good. Rebound finally grabbed by Odessa Miller. Wayne Dale basketball in transition back to the corner. Three-pointer goes up in the air going to be no good by Kylie Geyser. Rebound put back is going to be no good by McKenna Bainey. Rebound finally grabbed inside by Evie Mass. Three-pointer left other end going to be no good by Stutzman. Chased down by Joplin Yoder for the board. Highland ball. Now to Ashley Mullen along the baseline. Right wing Joplin Yoder. Her three-pointer going to be no good. Rebound grabbed by Stutzman. Here pass thrown away though, she tried to save it. Throws it in the hands of McKenna Bainey. Bainey on the other side for Wayne Dale. Pass goes left wing, now the Geyser high on the left side. That's Kylie Geyser. Scoreless game so far, one minute into the first quarter. Back in the right wing goes the Cheyenne Chop. Holds onto it, now dribbles it out top. Her pass goes to Alyssa Geyser. Jab step. Picks it up on the left point. Back in the corner, a grab by Kylie Geiser. Takes it to the baseline. Cross court pass right side to Dessa Miller. Her three pointer going to be in and out. No good. Rebound to the four is going to be saved by Joplin or no. Goes out of bounds, and Wayne Deal will keep the basketball. A lot of action, Joy, so far, but no points. Do you need to take a breather there, Matt? <laughs> Lady Golden Bears will have it beneath their own backboard. Scoreless game. Alyssa Geiser lobs it right on the foul line. The Cheyenne shot. On the left wing, back to Alyssa Geyser. Lobs it inside. Grabbed by Beanie. Shot off the last of No good by McKenna Beanie, but she will draw the foul. Yeah, good job by McKenna Beanie. She felt the defender moving on her hip and got her to commit the foul. Evie Mass got that foul. So at the foul line, McKenna Beanie, 5'7", senior, averaging nine points per game and four rebounds per contest. 65% free throw shooter. Free throw up by Beanie is going to be at the back of the rim. No gore, no good rather, and we're still scoreless. 
Stay tuned immediately following the game for a high school scoreboard on WKLM, brought to you by Village Motors. Michael Hamlin reporting all the area basketball scores for you all related to midnight. And that second free throw, no good. Rebound, however, chased down by Alyssa Geyser. And Blaindale still has the basketball. Three-pointer by Geyser for the quarter. Going to be knocked down. And we break that school of sky. Waynell up 3-0. Yeah, that's what Alyssa does very well. You don't want to leave here open. And we got a twisted up net down there. They'll stop play real quick. So Highland will have the basketball down 3-zip. After the game, we'll be announcing the Six Bunnies player of the game. Six Bunnies, your one-stop shop for all things custom apparel. Stay up to date with their latest offerings on Facebook and Instagram and shop online at sixbunnies.com. Six Bunnies, for quality and service, never grew out of style. Highland has the basketball. Ashley Mullen out top. Drive, lane, layup, off the glass, and good. And yeah, displaying some of that quickness. Highland's on the board for the first time, down 3-2. Six minutes to play, first quarter. Wayne Dell has the basketball. Here's Kylie Geyser across the timeline. Dribbles the left point, picks it up, passes inside. Under the basket to Bainey, her layup is going to be good. Nice look inside. Bainey did a good job posting off on the left block. Her first two, long pass in there and Trish Troyer. Back out top, Ashley Mullet to Stutzman. Head fake, drive, lane, out top of the drive by... Macy Mullet in the game now for Highland. Dump pass to Ali Habiger. Left corner, Macy Mullet. Her three pointer is going to be knocked down. Got the assist from Ashley. The freshman ties it up at five apiece. Wayne Dill basketball, five and a half to play first quarter. Here's Kylie Geyser. Dribbles it. Kicks it out top now. Over to Georgia Persinger in the game now for the Golden Bears. To Dessa Miller now drive by Kylie Geyser on the right wing. Kicks it to the baseline. Cross her pass left side. Alyssa Geyser. Left point to Dessa Miller. Dribbles it back to the right side. Kylie Geyser holds onto it. Tied up at five. Picks it up. Bounce pass left point now to McKinnon Bainey. On the right point in the hands of Georgia Persinger. Dribbles it between the circles now. Her pass to the left wing. Received again by Kylie Geyser. Pass inside, cutting Alyssa Geyser out of bounds. That will be a turnover in the first on Waynedale. Good patience there by Waynedale. And they got the play they were looking for, just missed the pass to the post. Simply pull in, remain in your vehicle, let the experienced crew provide a quality, convenient oil change with no appointment needed at Southside Quick Lube. On State Route 83 in Millersburg. Highland basketball, here's Joplin Yoder. Drive, lane, layup off the glass and good. That's a good, strong move by Joplin. Highland has their first lead now, 7 to 5, after that Joplin Yoder bucket. Wayne Dale basketball, Kylie Geyser dribbles it left of the foul line, kicks it back to the corner to Edissa Miller. Through the hands of the pass now of Cheyenne Shop, grab near that midcourt line somehow by Alyssa Geyser, who saves it. She'll dribble it out top. Back in the left wing, Kylie Geyser, three-pointers high in the air, going to be off the mark. Rebound on the floor, chased down again by Adissa Miller. She goes down, and hopefully she'll be all right as she was uh, ran into by a diving Evie Mast. He may have got part of her ankle. So we'll have to attend to the injured player with 4.20 to play first quarter, 7-5 Highland. We'll take this injury timeout on WKLM. Melway Paving Company is a well-known asphalt paving contractor for homes in surrounding counties since 1964, specializing in asphalt paving, chip and seal, and seal coating. For your next paving project, call Melway Paving at 330-279-9000. Melway Paving is a proud supporter of all Holmes County athletes. Stop by Rody's IJ for great Valentine's Day specials now through February 14th while supplies last at the Posey Pad Floral Shop. This is Scott Rody, and the Posey Pad has everything you need for that someone special. Fresh cut flowers, fresh arrangements, potted plants, candles, candy, plush animals, cards, and so much more with specials you'll adore. We deliver to all of Holmes County, but order early to ensure delivery by Valentine's Day by calling 674-6399. That's 674-6399. Get savings you'll love during the Valentine's Day sale at the Posey Pad Floral Shop inside Rody's IJ Marketplace in Millersburg. With today's market instability, many homeowners are looking to upgrade their existing home rather than buy or build a new one. At Home Siding Contractors, we know choosing the many colors and styles of siding, replacement windows and doors can be overwhelming. At Home Siding Contractors, we can help make that decision easier. Durability, beauty, and low maintenance over time describes our products the best. Call Home Siding Contractors today at 888-725-6619 and let our professional staff help upgrade your home today. Beachy's Auto Care and Truck Center continues to offer the convenience of two great locations on US 62 in Winesburg and on County Road 201 in Berlin. 
The Winesburg shop will take care of heavy-duty truck and fleet customers from 7 a.m. to midnight, while the Berlin facility will repair auto and light trucks from 8 a.m. to 5 p.m. Contact them in Winesburg at 359-5421 or in Berlin at 674-6970. That's Beachy's Auto Care and Truck Center in Winesburg and Berlin. Get your vehicle back on the road smooth and problem-free with Village Motors Collision Center. Hi, this is Deke Miller, and our Collision Center works on all makes and models and has available deductible assistance, along with loaner and rental vehicles available for your use, complimentary oil change packages, not to mention that we are the preferred repair shop for most insurance companies. Ask us about our cleanup packages with four great packages from basic to premium by appointment only starting at $19.95. For collision repair, make your first stop at Village Motors in Millersburg. Situation here and he able to get carried off to the locker room so you hate to see that situation. Well, absolutely. Odessa, I mean, she scored her 1,000th point this year for Wayne Dale. Just a tremendous ball player, and uh, we will pray that she's okay. And it'll be Wayne Dale basketball as we resume action here. And with it will be a Kylie Geyser to inbound midway into the front court for the Golden Bears. Shovels it out, top goes to Cheyenne Chubb. Dribbles it, picks it up. He, she gets called for traveling. It'll be the second Wayne Dale turnover. Good help side defensive rotation there by Highland. Lady Hawks will have it and a 7-5 advantage. Inbounded by Ellie Habiger goes to Ashley Mullet, who will cross the timeline. Pass left wing goes to Macy Mullet. Dribbles it out top now to Stutzman, back to Ashley Mullet near the center circle. Dribbles it right wing. Left point now to Stutzman, dribbles it. Into the corner to Macy Mullet, thought about it, now dribbles it left wing. Juggled it and gets called for traveling, kind of got caught in between the second Highland turnover. Yeah, she did. The defender stepped in her passing lane as well, made her turn it over. Wayne basketball down by a pair. Midway point of the first quarter. Kylie Geyser, the sophomore across the timeline, dribbles it right wing. The handoff goes to a senior Alyssa Geyser. On the left point back to Bainey, right wing back to Alyssa Geyser. Geyser holds onto it. Shovels a cross her pass to Persinger on the left side. Backs it up near midcourt. Picks it up. Back in the left wing, received now by Kylie Geyser. Dribbles it back near the midcourt line, picks it up. Bounce pass out top to Alyssa Geyser. Dribbles it to the foul line, backs it up. The handoff goes to Bainey on high on the left. Bainey dribbles it out top. The handoff now to Cheyenne Chubb. Left wing goes to Kylie Geyser. Dribbles it to the baseline, back in the corner goes to Alyssa Geyser. Dribbles it left wing. Bounce pass right side off the hands of Cheyenne Chubb. She'll grab it though off the bounce. Spins around to the baseline, juggles it again. Picks it up, cross court pass goes to Persinger. Her three pointer is going to be knocked down. Uh, good job by Persinger, stepped right into it. Her first points in back to a Wayne Deal advantage at 8 to 7. Highland basketball, pass inside Joplin Yoder. Back in the corner goes to Macy Mullet. Three pointers up in the air, going to be knocked down again by the freshman. Boy, she looks like he's got her shot working tonight. Her second three pointer, six points for Macy Mullet. Highland back in the lead at 10 to 8. Third lead change of the quarter. Wayne Dale basketball, Kylie Geyser out top. Dribbles it to the foul line. Drive, lane, left the layup off the glass and good. That's a great take by the sophomore. Her first two were tied up again at 10 apiece. Long pass to the front court to Stutzman. Saves it to Joplin Yoder. Now to Ashley Mullen on the left wing. Inside to Mallory Stutzman. Backs it in out top to Ashley Mullen. Her three point going to be no good. Rebound to the four will be a corralled by Alyssa Geyser. Tied up at 10. Wayne Dale has it. 2.18 to play in the first. Kylie Geyser crossover. Pass the quarter. Knocked out of bounds by Mallory Stutzman. It'll stay with Wayne Dale. Is now in will be Trish Troyer. And short place, Ellie Habiger. 2.14 to play in the first. 10-10 uh, ball game, two ties and three lead changes in this first quarter of action. Kylie Geyser to inbound. Does so out top to Alyssa Geyser. On the right wing, back to McKenna Bainey. Looking now dribbles it out top. Bainey to the foul line, drive. Her shot off the last, no good rebound. Knocked to the four and dove after. Finally going to be grabbed in a rebound and timeout for McKenna Bainey for Wayne Dill. 158 to play in the first, tied at 10. This is girls high school basketball on WKLM. At Mack Oil Field Service, they offer specialized trucking, water hauling, dirt work, and general oil field service in New York, Pennsylvania, West Virginia, and Ohio. They have the equipment and manpower to tackle any task handed to them. The future lies in the hands of our youth, and Mack Oil Field Service is proud to support them. Call Mack Oil Field Service for all your oil field needs at 330-674-7371. That's 330-674-7371.
A reminder, this game is being video live streamed on the WKLM YouTube page, courtesy of the Claxton communication team of Casey Claxton and Sean Troyer. That's on, that's on YouTube for the video live stream coverage. We're also on FM 95.3 and WKLMFM.com. Michael Hammond back at WKLM Sports Central. Matt Roy alongside Troy Fritz for the broadcast. Here's a drive by Bainey. Drive, runner off the last. Good in the foul. McKenna Bainey out of the timeout and a chance for a three-point play for the Golden Bears. Well, good job by McKenna taking that ball hard to the hole, but she set that up getting her own off offensive rebound for that timeout. Benny's been very active early for Waynedale. No doubt about it. 13 foul Highland first personal on Mallory Stutzman. Benny has four points and a chance for a three-point play. And Waynedale back in the lead at 12 to 10. They brought Tiana Mast into the ball game now as well. That free throw's up, going to be off the mark. Rebound goes to Stutzman. Highland ball down by a pair. Ashley Mullet to the front court, calls out the play. 145 to play in the first quarter. Now to Macy Miller for Highland. On the left wing goes the Trish Troyer. Back out top to Ashley Miller. Her three-pointers are going to be up in the air. Going to be knocked down. Uh, such a quick release. Five points, Ashley Miller. Her first three-pointer. Highland back in the lead now. At 13-12, the fifth lead change now of the quarter. Waynedale basketball. Here's Kylie Geyser right wing. Out top goes the Cheyenne Chop. Left wing now. Back in the far side. The dribble by Tiana Mass, the 5'6 junior. Out top Bainey. Her three-pointers up in the air. Going to be no good. Rebound chased down by Ashley Mullen. Ball pass goes to Sussman for Highland. Her three-pointer left wing going to be off the mark. Rebound grabbed, however, by Trish Stoyer. She's knocked to the floor and actually gets called for traveling. And that'll be the third turnover on Highland. And Brady Stable wants an explanation on that. I kind of thought she got knocked to the floor there with no call. Wayne Hill basketball down by one. One minute to play in the first quarter. And here's Kylie Geyser to the front court working against Trish Troyer. Crossover spins around out top. Cheyenne Chups pass goes right side to Alyssa Geyser. Lobs it out top goes to Kylie Geyser. Dribbles the left wing. Backs it up. Three-pointer by Kylie Geyser. High in the air. Going to be knocked down. Kylie Geyser. Nice looking sophomore. The step back three. 15-13 Waynedale drive to the baseline by Ashley Bullet. She will draw the foul. Blocking foul, I believe, called on Georgia Persinger. First foul on Waynedale called in the quarter. So Highland basketball, 38 seconds to play in the first as Macy Mullet back in, Joplin Yoder in, Macy Miller in, Ellie Habiger will have a seat. Also McKinnon Beanie will check out for Waynedale in is Brooke Compston, the 5'10 sophomore. Embedded under the back of Gooch. The Joplin Yoder, her layup going to be no good, but she drew a foul on Cheyenne Chupp. Second team foul, Waynedale Chupp has her first. Yeah, that's a nice set play out of that timeout. And actually Mullet just put the ball to a spot and Joplin went and got it. That's well executed. And Joplin at the foul line. As a result, she has two points so far in this first quarter. 5'11", junior averaging 12 points per game. Free throw going to bounce in. And now checking in going to be Andre Troyer, 5'4", freshman, and replacing Brooke Compston. Joplin Yoder has three points so far, has one more free throw to go. 36 seconds to play in the first. Officials saying there should be two team fouls for Wayne Dale instead of one. And now they got that corrected. Now the second free throw for Joplin Yoder. Lines it up, and it's going to be no good. Rebound to the four. Grabbed by Cheyenne Chubb. Golden Bears basketball. Here's Alyssa Geyser with it. And her pass goes far side across the timeline to Kylie Geyser. 15-14 Wayndale. Persinger has it near the midcourt line. Bounce pass to Alyssa Geyser on the right point. Near side pass goes to Cheyenne Chubb. Dribbles it around the perimeter. 17 seconds. Now to Mass near side of the pass. Received by Kylie Geyser. Dribbles the right wing. 10 seconds. Now to Alyssa Geyser out top. Dribbles it. Three-pointer by Alyssa Geyser up in the air. Going to be no good. Rebound goes to Joplin Yoder. Four seconds. Ashley Mullet across midcourt. Her three-pointer is high in the air. Going to be no down oh, at the buzzer. Wow. How about that to a close of the first? Highland 17, Wayne Hill 15 after one. Don't go away. Right here on WKLM. Are you having ongoing issues with your flat or low slope roof? MEB Systems of Sugar Creek specializes in flat or low slope roofs and has been serving the community and beyond since 1977. Whether it's tracking down or resolving that persistent leak, you are in need of a complete roof replacement, or you have a new build, MEB Systems will strive to find the best solution for you. 
They believe if a job is worth doing, it's worth doing right. Call MBB Systems Incorporated today at 330-852-4333 and visit them online at mebsystems.com. MEB Systems wishes all Holmes County athletes a safe and healthy season. Have you heard of Seat Farm Tires yet? We bet your neighbors have. Hi, this is Brad Smucker from Millersburg Tire Service, and we have been selling this premium radial tire for over six years now. If you need a good tire that has been proven in the field and on the road at a great price, then Seat is the tire for you. Just remember your ABCs. Always buy Seat. When you want the best, call MTS. Reach us at 330-674-1085, and our experts will give you all the details. Located on the State Route 39 east of Mellersburg, celebrating 70 years in the tire business. First quarter numbers courtesy of Troy Fritz, where Ohio was four of seven on three point tries, including that dagger at the end of the quarter by Ashley Mullen. 62% shooting, Wayne Dale, three of eight for 37%. All ready for the second quarter, Highland has the basketball first. Pass by Stutzman inside the Joplin Yoder. Her shot up in the air off the glass and good. That was a nice move. Five points, Joplin Yoder. Highland now a 19 15 advantage early in the second. And with it in the front court, Kylie Geyser for Wayne Deal. Gets the hand out to Alyssa Geyser. Right point now, the Georgia personer. Left to the foul line, Cheyenne Chubb. Backs it in. Picks it up her dribble. Chubb shovels it out top to Alyssa Geyser. Jab step. Directing traffic, Alyssa Geyser against Ashley Mullet. Dribbles the right wing. Dry lane. Who's crashing in there? And a charge is called. Natalie Sussman drawing that charge. Now we got sack close your eye because she saw that one coming from a long ways away. What a collision. Also in the first quarter, Highland three for three from two point range. Wayne Dale three of six for 50%. Highland one of two for the foul line. Wayne Dale 0 for four. Each team had seven rebounds in the first. Three turnovers for Highland, two for Wayne Dale in that first quarter of action. Highland has the basketball in the second and going to be a travel call on Edie Mass down top. And that'll be the fourth Highland turnover. Yeah, Wayne Dale's turned up their defensive pressure a little bit up top. Just into the second, 19-15 Wayndo. They had the ball. Kylie Geyser now dribbles it across the timeline, guarded by Evie Mast. Crossover to the foul line. Drive pass goes to the corner now to McKenna Bainey. Bainey holds onto it, guarded by Stutzman. Shovels the left wing back to Kylie Geyser. Back at the right point, into the hands of Cheyenne Chop. The six-foot senior gets a bounce pass out top to McKenna Bainey now. On the left wing, Alyssa Geyser. Eyes are looking. Bounce pass to Bainey in the left point. Back to her basket. Bainey gets the handoff. Now to Alyssa Geyser. She'll pick it up. Finds Kylie Geyser high on the right. Back out top to Cheyenne Chump as Kylie White closing off that lane inside. They're doing a great job closing that down. Kylie Geyser top of the key. She'll find Alyssa inside Cheyenne Chump. Her shot left hand is good. Yeah, good patience here. It took Chump a while to get position. When they did, they found her. Her first two, that basket over top of Joplin Yoder, 19-17 Highland. They had the ball. Evie Mass to the corner, dribbles it for Highland. On the right wing, Ashley Mullet. The Stutzman out top, left wing, Joplin Yoder. Drive to the foul line, to the lane, her layup off the last, and good again. Another quick take by Joplin. She has 7-4 in the quarter, 21-17 Lady Hawks. Wayne Dale ball, here's Kylie Geyser to the front court. Crossover to the foul line. Into the corner goes to Bainey. Bainey to the baseline. Her layup off the last. No good. Gets her own rebound. Under the basket. Put back. No good again. Rebound tipped to the hands of Stutzman. Highland ball in transition to Ashley Mullen. Layup is going to be good with the left hand. Ashley Mullen out running the defense. She has 10. 23-17 Highland. Wayne Dill basketball. Here's Kylie Geyser to the front court. She'll find Persinger. Into the corner to McKenna Bainey. Directing traffic. Out top to Alyssa Geyser. Dribbles at left wing. Crossover to the corner. Back in the far side. Three-pointer high in the air by Kylie Geyser. In and out and no good. Rebound put back by Cheyenne Chup. However, is going to be good. Yeah, Chup starting to feel it inside. Back-to-back -back baskets for her. She has four. 23-19 Highland. Lady Hawks basketball. Five minutes to play in the half. Joplin Yoder. Dribbles at left wing. Picks it up. Yoder. Lobs it. And to try to find her teammate, Chris Troyer. Good to my defense. Calls as a travel. Yeah, Waynedale is doing an outstanding job on the defense on the perimeter out there, Matt. And the fifth turnover on Highland as well. As we say that, and again, stay tuned immediately following the game for High School Scoreboard on WKLM. It's brought to you tonight by Village Motors. Michael Hammond reporting in all the area basketball scores for you all the way until midnight. Waynedale basketball. Here's the dribble down to the right wing by Audrey Troyer. Back in the left side to Georgia Persinger. 
She'll find Alyssa Geyser out top. Geyser dribbles the right wing. Down of the quarter, gets the hand up. Back to Audrey Troyer. Takes it right side. Knock loose, she'll grab it again. Dribbles it out top. Gets a pass off near side to Alyssa Geyser. Top of the key to McKinnon Bainey, who surveys it. Left wing to Georgia Persinger. Pass pass left to the foul line. Goes to Bainey. Drive. Lane. Laney. Layup is going to be good. And it looked like uh, Stutzman got popped to the mouth on that drive. And a bucket for Bainey on that process. And Wayne down by a pair. Yeah, Bainey playing really well at her six points. She's got three offensive boards tonight as well. She's playing extremely hard. So Stutzman may check out. She will indeed check out. Joplin Yoder is in. Trish Troyer also in for Evie Mass for the Lady Hawks. Yeah, Miles a tough girl. A little pop in the nose won't keep her out long. No doubt. 23-21 Highland. They had the ball. Into the front court goes to Trish Troyer. Right post to Joplin Yoder. Her shot off the last end good. Yeah, good job by Joplin getting position inside. Six of the quarter for her. She is nine for the half. And Highland up 25-21. Wayne Neal basketball. Out top, Kylie Geyser. Now to the foul line. Geyser's pass to the quarter. Goes off the leg of Bainey and out of bounds. That'll be the third Wayne Dale turnover. And Wendell's done a good job taking care of the basketball with this Highland pressure early in the game. Percy Dern now checking in for Wayne Dale, replacing Brooke Compton. And Highland has it in a four-point lead. Pass near side, Habiger back in the corner. And across midcourt, rather, grabbed by Troyer. Out top to Habiger. On the right wing to Ashley Moa. Bobson inside, Joplin Yoder. Her shot can actually knock to the floor, and Trow will actually be tied up. Tied up. Great defense by Cheyenne Jeff, though. And that'll be the turnover on the Lady Hawks. Yeah, good defense by Cheyenne Chupp, but she got a little help side defense from Geyser there. Create that jump ball. Evie Mass back in for Trish Troyer. 3.40 to play in the half. 25-21 is the score in favor of Highland. Wayne Dale has the ball. Kylie Geyser into the front court. Works it against Evie Mass. Kicks the right wing on the pass. Down to Georgia Persinger. Backs it up. Bounce pass goes to Kylie Geyser. Drive, lane. Left the layup high off the glass. No good. Rebound by Chubb. Her putback is good. Another offensive board for Cheyenne Chubb. She has six. Two-point ball game. Drive. Ashley Bullet shot off the glass. No good. Rebound Joplin Yoder. Her putback is going to be no good. Rebound goes to Cheyenne Chubb. We no ball. They're down by two. 25-23. 3.07 to play in the half. Kylie Geyser to the front court. Has it out top. Now the Cheyenne Chup, right wing to Alyssa Geyser. Shovels it out top to McKenna Bainey. Bainey crossover left wing. Still with the dribble. On the right point to Alyssa Geyser. Bounce pass right of the foul line to Bainey. She'll hold onto it. Hands it off out top to Alyssa Geyser. Step back, can't get the shot off. Gets the hand off instead to Cheyenne Chup. She'll have it out top. Chup picks it up too soon. Bounce pass goes to Bainey though. Top of the key to Kylie Geyser. Right wing back to Persinger as they work the ball around the perimeter. Into the corner now, grabbed by Kylie Geyser. Takes it to the baseline, under the bucket. Geyser cut off, spins around. Her pass goes to Alyssa Geyser, shot no good, but a foul is called on Ishley, Ashley Mullet. And a great cut to the basket by Alyssa Geyser. Yeah, Matt, good point. Alyssa Geyser did a great job. She recognized her player was in trouble down the baseline. Did what you're supposed to do and cut to the basketball. First team foul on the quarter on Highland. First personal on Ashley Mullen. Alyssa Geyser's at the foul line. Free throws up in. It's going to be good. She has four points for the 5'7 senior, averaging 13 a game and four rebounds per contest. A 69% free throw shooter. After the game, we'll be announcing the six bunnies player of the game. You look for them on Facebook and Instagram and online at sixbunnies.com. Both free throws are good by Alyssa Geyser. Five points for her. Her tied up at 25. First tie of the second quarter. Highland has the basketball. Stutzman back in. Pass left wing goes to Trish Troyer. Tries to hand it off, but throws it away instead. Six turnover on Highland. Here's Alyssa Geyser in transition for Wayne Deal. Backs it up to the corner. Pass inside the Cheyenne Chup. She'll back it in. Spins around. Chup shot left hand is going to be no good. Gets a rebound put back. It's going to be no good, but a foul on Ellie Habiger. And Chup goes to the foul line. She's got three offensive boards here, playing really well in the second period to Cheyenne Chupp. First personal on Habiger, second team foul on Highland. Chupp has six points, all coming in the second. Free throw here is going to be knocked down. Cheyenne Chupp, six-foot senior, averaging six and a half a game and five rebounds per contest. And now a Highland timeout. 26-25, Wayne Dale, 152 to play first half. This is girls high school basketball on WKLM.
Call Berlin Heating and Cooling, your Ream Pro partner, and you know you're calling the very best. Berlin Heating and Cooling services and installs Ream and all other types of furnaces and equipment. Berlin Heating and Cooling, they're your local team you can trust. Call them today at 330-893-3057. That's 330-893-3057. Now power call Holmesville Electric, your local Generac automatic standby generator dealer. Holmesville Electric has factory certified technicians and carries a full line of parts and service kits for all your Generac needs. Call today, 330-279-4522, and really a back and forth first half, Troy. Well, it's been everything we thought it would be. It's great defense, and teams are scoring the basketball when they need to. This has been what we thought it would, Matt. Cheyenne Chup, 48% free throw shooter on the season. She buried the first free throw to give her team the lead. First lead for them in the second quarter. Second free throw is going to be good. Buries them both. Big first half for Cheyenne Chup. She has eight points. 27-25, Wayne Dale. Highland has the basketball. Here's Ashley Mullen, now Tom. Now to the left wing. Mullen surveys the defense. Left side, Trish Troyer. Her three-pointer is going to be in and out. No good. Rebound to the floor is... Knocked out top to Ashley Mullet. Back to Trish Troyer. Cross court pass goes to Stutzman on the right side. Thought about it. Now dribbles it to the foul line. Out top to Ashley Mullet. Gets the hand now on the left side. Here's Ashley Mullet with the basketball on the left wing. Dribbles it back to the left side. Now backs it up near that midcourt line. Mullet directing traffic out top for Highland. Now calls out to play. 1.14 to play in the half. Left wing to Trish Troyer. Now a three-pointer is going to be no good. Out top goes to Kylie Geyser. Highland got the shot they wanted. Not able to knock it down. Knocked loose, meanwhile, by Ashley Mullen. Off the leg of Kylie Geyser. And that will be a Wayne Dale turnover. That's their fifth. Yeah, good hustle play there by Ashley. And now Joplin Yoder will check in for Highland. Joining Mallory Stutzman. Also Macy Mullet checking in. And Ashley Mullet along with Trish Troyer. Ashley has the basketball. Under a minute to play in the first half. Highland down by two. Mullet gets the hand off to Macy Mullet. Dribbles it out top. Gets the hand off to Trish Troyer. Now to Ashley, high on the right side. Dribbles it to the foul line. Kicks the right wing back over to Trish Troyer. Her three-pointer is going to be knocked down this time. And Highland has the lead. Yeah, Trish Troyer stepped right into that one coming off the screen. Her first points of the game on that three-point basket. 28-27 Highland. Wayne Dale ball. Drive. Kylie Geyser. Scoop shot. Good with the left yeah, hand. Excellent take. Seven points for Kylie Geyser. Make it 29-28. Wayne Dale now. Highland ball to the corner. Trish Troyer's pass inside to Joplin Yoder. Her shot off the glass. No good. Rebound grabbed by Alyssa Geyser. 15 seconds to play in the half. Wayne Dale has the ball. Into the front court. Kylie Geyser hands it off to Alyssa Geyser out top. Her three-pointer high in the air going to be no good. Rebound goes to Trish Troyer. Three seconds. Ashley Mullet shot at midcourt by Mullet going to be good. Oh! Ashley Mullet, another buzzer beater. My goodness. Unbelievable. And yet it's not because it's Ashley Mullet. Oh, my goodness. How about that to close out the half? Woo! Halftime score. Highland 31, Wayne Dale 29. Take a deep breath. We'll be back after this on WKLM. Are you ready to tackle home improvement with the winning team? Look no further than Wayne Door, your MVP for all things doors and windows. Score big with their championship lineup. Garage doors, openers, entry and storm doors, windows, patio doors, and more. Just like a winning play, Wayne Door offers an unbeatable sales team, flawless installation, and game-changing service. Their local experts ensure you're always in the lead. Don't settle for anything less. Visit them today at waynedoor.com or stop by their showroom and elevate with your home improvement improvement game with the experts. Wayne Door, people you can trust since 1973. EcoSeal Home Solutions has been serving all of Northeast and Central Ohio as the leader in foundation waterproofing and repair, basement exit systems, and gravel delivery. Whether you're building a new home or your existing home's foundation and basement is in need of some TLC, EcoSeal has the answer. For more information or to schedule a free estimate, call 330-893-SEAL. That's 330-893-7325. 
Did you know that one of the nation's top hospitals was founded right here in Holmes County? It's true. Pomerine Hospital was recently named the top 20 rural and community hospital by the National Rural Health Association. For 75 years, Pomerine has applied the latest medical expertise to meet the unique needs of our community. And today, they continue to lead the way in reliable patient outcomes, from outpatient services to life-saving surgeries. Learn more about the many ways Pomerine provides award-winning care right in your backyard. Visit pomerinehospital.org. When it comes to service, nobody cares more than Village Motors in Millersburg. This is Deke Miller, and I'm proud to say that we have state-of-the-art equipment and factory-trained technicians working on your vehicle when you visit. And we also offer a variety of preventative maintenance programs designed to greatly reduce the cost of your service visits. We are competitive, convenient, and we care. So the next time you need your vehicle service, stop by and see us at Village Motors in Millersburg. Since 1991, Holmes County Education and Community Foundation has awarded more than $11 million in scholarships to nearly 2,800 Holmes County residents pursuing higher education. Scholarship applications for the 2024-2025 academic year will open in January. To apply, please visit our website at www.hcef.net. Holmes County residents and Holmes County High School graduating seniors may apply. Get financial solutions when you need it from Dave Schlabel Financial Services. After winning six state championships as a head basketball coach, Dave Schlabel knows that planning, preparation, and hard work can lead to success. And the same can be applied to your financial future. Whether you are a young adult, individual, family, or a business, Dave Schlabel Financial Services will establish financial goals and income protection. Contact Dave Schlabel Financial Services at 893-1900, located at 4585 State Route 39, Millersburg. Securities offered through ON Equity Sales Company, member FINRA SIPC. Are you ready to tackle home improvement with the winning team? Look no further than Wayne Door, your MVP for all things doors and windows. Score big with their championship lineup. Garage doors, openers, entry and storm doors, windows, patio doors, and more. Just like a winning play, Wayne Door offers an unbeatable sales team, flawless installation, and game-changing service. Their local experts ensure you're always in the lead. Don't settle for anything less. Visit them today at WayneDoor.com or stop by their showroom and elevate with your home improvement improvement game with the experts. Wayne Door, people you can trust since 1973. At the first, six lead changes and also two ties in the first. Highland had the two-point lead, and then in the second quarter, again, four more lead changes, one more tie. Each team scored 14 in the second quarter, including the buzzer beater just past midcourt by Ashley Mola to close out the half in Highland, a 31-29 lead at halftime over Wayne Deal. For Highland leading the way, of course, was Ashley Mola. Mola in the first half going three for four from three-point distance and also two for three from two-point range. Mola had 13. 13 first half points. Also nine points scored by Joplin Yoder. She was four for five for two point range and one for two for the foul line for her total of nine points. Six points scored by Macy Mullet on two three point baskets. Three points for Trish Troyer. That rounded out the Highland total of 31. For Wayne Dale leading the way for them, that was Cheyenne Chupp, and she was three of five from two point range, two for three from the foul line. Chupp had eight first half points. Seven points scored by Kylie Geyser, six for McKenna Bainey. Five points scored by Alyssa Geyser. Three for Georgia Persinger. Of course, Odessa Miller had to go out due to the injury in the first half. Did not return. And that ran out the Wayne Dale total of 29. Halftime score, Highland 31. Wayne Dale 29. Now for the first half team numbers. Here's Troy Fritz. And thank you very much, Matt. For Highland in the first half, they would go 6 of 12 behind the arc. Good for 50%, while Wayne Dale was 3 of 10 for 30%. From the two-point range would be Wayndale going 8 of 15, good for 53%, while Highland would go 6 of 9 for 67%. From the free throw line, Highland would just shoot two. They'd make one of them going 50%, while Wayndale also 50% at 4 of 8. 
Rebounding advantage goes to Wayndale's. They grab 14 rebounds compared to Highland's 11. Highland will commit six turnovers. Wayndale just five in the first half. Individually for Wayndale rebounding wise, four boards for Cheyenne Chuff, three at the offensive end, three rebounds for McKenna Beatty, and three boards for Alyssa Geyser. For Highland leading the way, Ashley Mullen had four rebounds, and also three rebounds apiece for Mallory Stutzman and Joplin Yoder. And Troy, what a first half that was. Well, I don't know if we could have scripted a better first half for that. And somebody, you know, if Ashley's not shooting, well, they just need to tell her to go back to half court because that's where <laughs> she's making them tonight. But, you know, Wayne, what a great job. I mean, for Wayndale here tonight, McKenna Beatty's played a great first half, and Cheyenne Chup really got hot there in the second half, which has kept them rolling here. But, you know, it's a great play game on both sides so far. No doubt about that. Halftime score again. Highland 31, Wayndale 29. Back with the second half after this on WKOM. Discover your passion and prepare for your future with Buckeye Career Center. Now is the time to enroll for next school year. Visit BuckeyeCareerCenter.org to review our over 30 high school programs in addition to our two new programs, including dental assisting and fire and EMS technology. Other programs to consider are CAD, commercial truck, culinary arts, medical assisting, and masonry. 97% of the class of 2022 was employed, enrolled in college, or enlisted in the military following graduation. Join us to find out why we are Buckeye Proud. Hey you, are you looking for driveway or base materials? I know just the place to go. DNM Rocks in Millersburg. They have shale products and covert pipe and they deliver. Or maybe you're looking for landscape supplies. DNM Rocks has that too. Stop and see them on the hill behind Jenner's or give them a call to set up a delivery at 330-473-6020. DNM Rocks. Ready to turn back time? This is Dr. Emily Reeser of Dr. Brad Welsh & Associates. PDO threads are a non-surgical, minimally invasive way to achieve a youthful and lifted appearance. These dissolvable threads are skillfully placed under the skin to stimulate your body's natural collagen production. PDO threads can be used to address a wide range of concerns, including sagging skin, wrinkles, fine lines, and more. To see before and after pictures and the other cosmetic injection services we provide, visit our website at drbradwelsh.com. To schedule a consultation, give us a call at 330-674-4876. Loading the kids in the car, brokering peace in the back seat, mastering the snack handoff without even looking. Why are simple things sometimes so complicated? Thankfully, with auto owners, insurance doesn't have to be one of them. We work with independent agents who keep insurance simple, so you can worry about more important things, like figuring out what's growing in that cup holder. That's simple human sense. Contact your local auto owner's insurance agent, Hovren's Insurance Service, 170 South Clay Street in Millersburg. Call 1-800-340-3767. It's time to be thinking about those concrete projects. Call Homes Ready Mix of Millersburg, offering ready mix concrete, precast blocks, and a variety of mason and concrete products. Call today for prices and delivery options of ready mix concrete at 674-0865 or sand and gravel at 674-8121. That's Homes Ready Mix of Millersburg, a proud supporter of all Holmes County athletes. And once again, this game being video live streamed on the WKLM YouTube page, courtesy of our Claxon communication team of Casey Claxon, who is producing tonight's live stream coverage, and Sean Troyer working the cameras. Go to YouTube, search WKLM Radio to find the live stream coverage for tonight's game. We're also, of course, on FM 95.3 and WKLMFM.com. Michael Hammond back at WKLM Sports Central. Matt Croy alongside Troy Fritz for the broadcast as we begin the start of the second half. Highland Ball goes cross court to the corner to Trish Troyer. Her three-pointer is knocked down. That's the way to start. Chris Troyer, her second three-pointer she's made tonight. Six points for her. And Highland now a 34-29 lead. So good she twisted up the net again. That's been twisted a few times. Wayne Dell has the basketball. Going from right to left of the second half. Here's Kylie Geiser with it across the timeline. Bounce pass right out of the foul line. Cheyenne Chubb holds onto it. Looking out top goes to Alyssa Geyser. Deep three-pointer by Geyser up in the air. Off the mark. Rebound goes to Mallory Switzman. Highland ball. Ashley Muller to the front court. Her three-pointers up in the air going to be no good. Rebound grabbed under the basket by Alyssa Geyser. Wayndale ball down by five. Kylie Geyser across midcourt guarded by Evie Mass. Dribbles the left point. Now to the foul line to the left wing. Her three-pointer is going to be no good. Rebound knocked to the four goes out of bounds. That'll be off of Georgia Persinger, and Highland will have the basketball. 
Yoder Family Roofing and Spouting, serving you for the past 25 years. Located in Millersburg and serving the surrounding areas. Call or text 330-695-3000 for after your roofing and siding needs. Highland ball, Joplin Yoder gets the handoff down to Ashley Muller. Her shot for the foul line is going to be in and out. No good. Rebound, knocked to the corner, goes out of bounds off the hands of Joplin Yoder. Couldn't quite corral it, and it'll be Wayne Dell basketball. A minute into the third quarter, Wayne Dell ball down 34-29. Kylie Geyser in the backcourt. Crossover across the timeline now. Geyser to the foul line, cut off. Pass pass inside, knocked to the floor, dove after, and tied up. And the arrow will stay with Wayne Dale. 6.45 the play in the third, and it'll be Lady Golden Bears to win Bennett beneath their own backboard. Georgia Persinger lobs it out top, corralled by Kylie Geyser on the foul circle. Dribbles it, drives the lane. Her shot left hand off the glass. No good, but she drew the foul on Evie Mast. Yeah, good play there for Wendell. Set that up out of that inbounds. Overloaded the right side. Just got an isolation play. Let Kylie, dri Kylie drive her person to the basket. And she did that very effectively. The third personal on Evie Mast of the game. First team foul on Highland in the quarter. Kylie Geyser, the free throw. That's going to be knocked down. Kylie Geyser now has eight points for the contest. Stay tuned tonight for High School Scoreboard on WKLM, brought to you by Village Motors. Michael Hamlin reporting all the area basketball scores for you. That second free throw, no good. Rebound goes to Evie Mast. Highland ball up 34-30. Ashley Mullet to the front court. Six and a half to play third quarter. Mullet to the foul line, to the lane. Her left hand to layup off the last, no good. Rebound goes to Cheyenne Chop. Alyssa Geyser has it for Wayne Dale across the timeline. Takes it right wing. Backs it up near midcourt. Crossover to the foul line. Alyssa Geyser backs up to the left side. Al top goes to Kylie Geyser. Crossover. On the right point goes to Cheyenne Chop. Along the perimeter. Now on the left point to Alyssa Geyser. Takes a left wing. Back in the corner. Knocked out of bounds by Mallory Sussman. will stay with Wayne Deal. Official pointing the other way. You were right, Troy, initially, <laughs> but they pointed the wrong direction. Yeah, they did indeed. And now Macy Mullet, the freshman, checks in for Evie Mass for Highland. Kylie Geyser now to win Bennett. Her pass goes to Cheyenne Chubb. Right of the foul line to McKenna Bainey. Shovels it out top to Alyssa Geyser. Inside goes to Cheyenne Chubb. Couldn't handle the pass though. Brad left the ricochet by Bainey. Her layup going to be no good, but she was fouled on the opportunistic play by Bainey, drawing the foul on Joplin Yoder. Bainey did the right thing. She picked up that loose ball, went right to the hole, and she got Joplin Yoder to commit the foul. Her first personal, second team foul on Highland. McKenna Beanie at the charity stripe. Beanie lines it up. Free throw is good. Make it seven points now for McKenna Beanie. 34 31 Highland. Wayne Nell er, inching closer right here. Second free throw going to be in and out. No good. Rebound goes to Stutzman. Highland ball. Ashley Mullet with it across the timeline. Right wing goes to Macy Mullet. Back to Ashley High on the right side. Inside Joplin Yoder. Show back it in. Yoder. Shot off the glass, gonna be good. That's a nice, strong move. Joplin has 11, 36-31 Lady Hawks. Wayne Dill ball, here's Kylie Geyser, crossover out top. Five and a half to play in the third. Out top to Cheyenne Chup now. On the right wing to McKenna Bainey. Out top, Kylie Geyser, drive, baseline, her layup off the glass, no good, rebound goes to Stutzman. Highland ball, here's Ashley Mullet to the front court. Her three-pointer top of the key gonna be knocked down. Pull up three for Ashley Mullet. She has 16 points for the game, her fourth three-pointer. 39-31 Highland. Wayne Dill ball, Kylie Geyser to the front court. Out top, Cheyenne Chop. On the right wing, goes to Bainey. And timeout called by Wayne Dill. Five minutes to play in the third, 39-31 Highland. This is girls high school basketball on WKLM. This is Raleigh Mast. I'm a fleet mechanic with Yoder Lumber Logistics. We are a truck load carrier and broker servicing customers east of the Rocky Mountains. We have a fleet of late model equipment specializing in flatbed and Conestoga freight. At Yoder Lumber Logistics, we take pride in offering our customers fast and friendly service at competitive rates for all their inbound and outbound needs. Give us a call today at 330-893-3131. 
design styles in both traditional and glitter. You'll never have to worry about looking good on game day. Stay up to date with their latest offerings on Facebook and Instagram and shop online at SixMoneys.com. Six Moneys for quality and service never go out of style. Highland all of a sudden has an eight-point lead here in this third quarter. Troy. Yeah, and Wayndale, good time out there. I like what they did because they really need a bucket here. So they're going to set something up and get a good opportunity here. But, you know, Highland's come out here on fire shooting well, Matt. Highland, of course, this will cap off their regular season. Then it'll be tournament time for them on uh, next Wednesday. With will host TCC. Wayne Dale has another regular season game to go. A tough game on Thursday against Chippewa. Then their postseason begins next Wednesday. Uh, it doesn't get any easier for them. Wayne Dale basketball out of the timeout. Highland Geyser's pass goes out top to Georgia Persinger. Left of the foul circle to Alyssa Geyser. Entry pass inside Cheyenne Chuff. Her shot left hand is going to be no good. Rebound juggled. Grabbed by Alyssa Geyser. Under the basket and going to be tied up. And I believe the arrow points to Highland. It does indeed. So Highland will have it. Rebounded in the turnover for Wayndale. And they'll have their sixth of the game. Highland basketball. Ashley Mullet to the front court. Dribbles it out top. Now drive past the corner. Mallory Sussman. Her three-pointer is going to be no good. Rebound knocked a couple of times. Grabbed finally by Trish Troyer. Three-pointer by Ashley Mullet. It's going to be no good. Rebound to the four. Knocked out of bounds off of Wayndale's hands. And Highland will keep the basketball. Yeah, Highland's got active hands keeping the ball alive down there. Ellie Haberger in for Joplin Yoder. Highland this eight-point lead. And Sussman has still yet to score in this game. Yeah, everybody else is really doing the job here for Highland. Mal's doing a great job on the board because she's got six rebounds this evening. Audrey Troyer checking in. Cheyenne Chup out. Now left wing. Uh, Ashley Mullen out top now to Ash Mallory Switzerland. Her 15-footer knocked down. That's all we had to do is talk about it. She heard us her first two of the game. Mallory Switzerland from that free throw line distance. It'll be Mainel basketball down 41-31. Kylie Geyser to the front court. Crossover out top. Drive to the baseline. Shovels it out top now to Georgia Persinger. And she'll find Troyer. Dumps it inside a cutting. Elsa Geyser who lays it up and yeah, in. Yeah, good backdoor cut by Geyser. Seven points for Geyser. Three-pointer meanwhile by Stutzman. Knocked down again. Oh, my. We must have made her mad. She's way out there. Five points straight for Mallory Stutzman. 44-33 lead for Highland. And just midway point of the third quarter. But again, pick your poison for this Highland group. Well, Miles got that shooter's mentality. It doesn't matter if she's missing because she's going to keep shooting the basketball. Wayne Dell has the basketball. Here's Kylie Geyser who dribbles it across midcourt. Now to the left wing. Drive, scoop shot left hand, no good. Rebound, knocked to the four. Dove after and grabbed somehow by Ashley Mullet. Her quick pass though, thrown out of bounds. This one tried to save it, but couldn't do it. So rebound and then the turnover for Highland. That'll be their seventh. Wayne Dell ball down by 11 right now. Of course, Odessa Miller injured in the first half, did not return. Drive to the baseline, reverse layup by Bainey is good. What a great move by McKenna Bainey. Nine points for Bainey for the ball game. 44-35 Highland. Highland ball three-pointer by Stutzman is going to be good again. Oh, she's heating up. Woo! Eight straight points. Mallory Stutzman all coming in the third quarter. 47-35 Highland. Wayne Dale ball. Highland Geyser drive. Shot left hand, no good. Rebound to the four. Will be tipped in the hands of Trish Stoyer. Highland ball, cross court pass to Ashley Bullet, spins around, kicks the right side to Ellie Haberger, now to Macy Bullet, left wing, stunts, but three pointer's gonna be no good that time. Rebound, Macy Mullet, her putback is no good. Rebound to the four, grabbed again by Macy Mullet. And she'll be knocked to the four, it looks like. And it's gonna be, or will it be a foul or no? It's gonna be Highland basketball either way. Mm, not sure what the call was, but it is gonna stay with Highland. So apparently he knocked out of bounds, and Highland's going to have it. Inbounded to Joplin Yoder. Out top now to Mallory Stutzman. Backs it in. The handoff to Ashley Mullet on the left wing. Dumps it inside, Joplin Yoder. Here's a shot off glasses. Oh Good, what a move. Joplin's post moves have just gotten better and better as the year went on, and that might have been the best one I've seen. Some nifty footwork, and she has 13 points. 49-35 lead for Highland. Wayne Dill ball. Drive, pass to the corner. Here's Bainey. Back to Kylie Geyser. Her three-pointer for the left wing going to be knocked down. Oh, uh, Caitlin Clark step back and knock it down. Yeah, they're going to call that a two-point basket, says the official. Highland ball passes inside the Joplin Yoder. Another up and under move. Her shot no good that time. Gets her own rebound. Now to Evie Mast. To Ashley Mullet. Left wing Stutzman. Inside back to Ellie Habiger and gets called for traveling. Trying to make a loop along the baseline. The eighth 
Highland turnover. And I was going to compliment that was a nice move too, yes. but she got an extra step. So. 2-11 to play in the third. McCoy alongside Troy Fritz for the broadcast. Macy Mullet checking back in for Ashley Mullet. And Highland a 12-point advantage. And in batted where it's grabbed in the backcourt by Audrey Troyer, the freshman guard. Dribbles it across the timeline. I guess Evie Bast. Picks it up too soon. Bass pass though goes to Cheyenne Chupp on the right wing. Chupp picks it up. Guarded tightly by Joplin Yoder. Nowhere to go with it. And put close and stolen away finally by Jonathan Yoder. That's the seventh Wayne Dale turnover. Highland ball here, Stutzman out top to the foul line. Right wing to Macy Mulla. Left wing, Jonathan Yoder. To the corner, goes to a three-pointer by Allie. Habiger. Knocks it down. Always getting into the action. I get some tight defense. Her first points of the game. 52-37 Highland, and Highland all of a sudden a 15-point advantage. Well, they're raining threes. They're just lighting it up from outside, Matt. Certainly are as Ashley Mullen after a quick rest back in for Macy Mullet. 138 to play in the third. Wayne Dell has the basketball. Kylie Geyser at three-quarters court now across the timeline. Crossover left wing. Here pass goes to Alyssa Geyser high on the right. Drive, lane, layup off the last, going to be no good, but she drew a foul against the backpedaling Mallory Stutzman. Yeah, Alicia Geiger showed her quickness to the hole there. Mal tried to draw the charge, couldn't quite get in front of her. Her second personal, third team foul on Highland. Alyssa Geiser at the foul line. Seven points for Geiser. Free throw up is going to be good. This game, of course, being video live streamed on the WKLM YouTube page, courtesy of the Claxon communication team. Again, that is on YouTube and also on FM 95.3 and WKLMFM.com. Michael Hammond back at WKLM Sports Central. Second free throw good as well by Geyser. She has nine. Four for four from the line for Alyssa. And four points in the third quarter. 52-39 Highland. Lady Hawks basketball. Ashley Mullet to the front court. Dribbles it to the foul line. Runner up in the air, gonna be no good. Rebound grabbed by Joplin Yoder. Backs it up to the right wing, and she will be bumped in foul. That's the first team foul in Waynedale coming into the third. And Joplin Yoder just grabbed her fourth offensive board here of the game as well. In the first personal on Kylie Geyser, Trish Troyer in for Evie Mast. Also checking in, Cheyenne Shop is replacing Georgia Persinger for Waynedale. Highland ball to win them beneath throwing backboard. And a 13-point advantage. And out of the Joplin Yoder under the basket. Her shot up in the air going to be muscled home. And muscle's the key word there. Wow. Six points for the quarter, 15 for the ball game for Joplin. 54-39 Highland. Wayne Dill ball. Here's Kylie Geyser. Crossover to the foul line. Geyser kicks it out top to Alyssa Geyser. 50 seconds and counting. Geyser's pass to the corner goes to Tiana Mast. Dribbles at right wing. Picks it up. Out top to Alyssa Geyser. Now to Kylie Geyser. Left wing to McKenna Bainey. Now top of the hands of Kylie Geyser. Dribbles it to the foul line. To the baseline. Spins around shot. Going to be uh, deflected out of bounds. It'll be Wayne Dale basketball. Yeah, good defensive pressure there by Macy Mullet. Did not give bite on the fakes. Kelly Havoker in for Joplin Yoder. Georgia Persinger in for Tiana Mast. 30 seconds to play in the third. Wayne Dale to win bound. Kylie Geyser's pass out top, tracked down by McKenna Bainey. Bainey to the foul line, spins around the lane, scoop shot off the glass, no good. Rebound to Ellie Haberger. Ashley Mullet to the front court, left corner Trish Troyer, three pointer is going to be knocked down. <laughs> Trish Troyer, her third three pointer tonight. 13 seconds, Kylie Geyser for Wayne Neal out top. Nine seconds. Geyser, left wing. Out top to Alyssa Geyser, four seconds to go. Geyser, three-pointer up in the air, going to be no good as the third quarter comes to a close. At the end of three, Highland 57, Wayne Dale 39. This is Girls High School Basketball on WKLM. Critchfield Law Firm has always been dedicated to providing the highest quality legal services to their clients throughout Holmes County and surrounding areas. Critchfield Law Firm also understands the dedication of our youth. From the classroom to the music room to athletics, Holmes County's best is represented in every academic area. Critchfield Law Firm in Millersburg, wishing all who participate the best in their endeavors.
Time is ticking and your dream home is waiting. This is Ben Hershberger at the Commercial and Savings Bank. We understand that buying a home can be overwhelming, but with CSB, it's easier than ever. We offer a range of options. Whether you're looking to buy, build, refinance, or improve your home, our mortgage lenders will guide you every step of the way. Visit our website at csb1.com to apply online today and turn your dream into a reality. The Commercial and Savings Bank, where home ownership begins. Member FDIC, equal housing lender. Highland, a big third quarter out scoring Wayndale 26 to 10. Third quarter numbers courtesy of Troy Fritz for Highland was 6 of 7 for a scorching 82% for three point distance. Wayndale 0 for 2. Big difference right there. Highland 4 or 8 from two point range for 50%. Wayndale 3 for 8 for 37%. Wayndale 4 or 6 for the foul line for 75%. Highland did not attempt a foul shot. And Highland a big advantage on the boards out rebounding Wayndale 15 to 5 in the third. And each team had two turnovers in that third quarter of play. Wayndale has the ball to begin the fourth quarter. Now top, here's Kylie Geyser. Picks it up right of the foul line, the Persinger. Now it's passed inside Alyssa Geyser. Backs it in, her shot off the last, no good. Rebound to Joplin Yoder. Now to Ashley Mullet, right quarter to, on the drive by Evie Master. Shot's gonna be in and out, no good. Rebound, however, grabbed by Stutzman. Stutzman, poked loose, pass gonna be knocked away in the steal. Highland has her ninth turnover. Wayndale ball. Trailing by 18 right now as Kylie Geyser will cross the timeline. Pass left to the foul line, Cheyenne Chupp. Chupp looking, poke loose, and the steal by Joplin Yoder again. Eighth turnover on Wayndale. Into the front court, right corner, Evie Mass for a three-pointer is going to be no good. Rebound to Mallory Stutzman, and she'll be bumped and found another offensive board by Stutzman. Yeah, that's three offensive boards. She's got seven total having a game on the boards. First team fell on... Wayndale of the fourth quarter. That foul gonna be slapped on Kylie Geiser, her second. Ashley Bullet to inbound, out top to Stutzman. Her three-pointer's gonna be no good off the inbounds pass. And it bounces out of bounds after the miss, so Wayndale will have the ball after that missed shot. And stay tuned immediately following the game for high school scoreboard on WKLM. It's brought to you tonight by Village Motors. Wayndale ball, here's Kylie Geiser to the front court. Drive, lane, left the lamp off the last and good. That's an excellent take. Kylie Geyser has 12, 57-41 Highland. Wayne Hill trying to fight their way back into it in the fourth. Ashley Mullen out top for Highland. Her three-pointers up in the air gonna be knocked down. Well, why not? Woo! Step back three-pointer, Ashley Mullen. Her fifth tonight, 60-41 to Highland. 25-footer by my calculations. Mm. Here's the drive. Kylie Geyser packed to the quarter, three-pointer up in the air, going to be knocked down, meanwhile, by McKenna Bainey. McKenna Bainey continues her hot hand. She has 12, 60 to 44, Highland. Lady Hawks have it, pass right wing goes to Evie Mast. Out top, Ashley Mullet, drive. 50-foot up in the air, going to be in and out, no good for Ashley. Rebound, however, grabbed by Joplin Yoder. And Highland keeps the possession. Here's Stutzman's pass, left wing to Evie Mast. Mast to the baseline, bumped in foul by McKenna Bainey. Second team foul on Wayndale. Bainey has her first. Yeah, that offensive rebound by Joplin was her fifth offensive board as well. Macy Bullet, Ellie Habiger in, out Evie Mast and Joplin Yoder. Cheyenne Chuff will have a seat in, replaced by Audrey Troyer for Wayndale. And embedded. Al top goes to Trish Troyer. Spins around, the handoff down to Ashley Mullet. Well, it surveys it back to the corner to the Stutzman. Her three-pointer is going to be off the mark. Rebound grabbed by Georgia Persinger. Wayne Dill ball. They trail it by 16. We're in the fourth of 540 to play. Kylie Geyser to the front court. Directing traffic out top. Now to the foul line. Cut off. Shovels it out top to Persinger. Right wing now grabbed by Audrey Troyer. Left point back over to Kylie Geyser. Drive to the baseline. Her lamp is going to be good. She is quick. No doubt, 14 points for Kylie. Timeout Highland, 5.24 to play fourth quarter. Highland 60 and Wayndale 46. This is Girls High School Basketball on WKLM.
a single-family home located at 6155 County Road 333 in Millersburg, is listed for sale by Kaufman Realty and Auctions with an asking price of $899,000. This property was built in 1999. It has six bedrooms and four full and one partial baths with 5,574 square feet. Located in the second quarter subdivision within the West Olds Local School District. For more information, whether choose the date and time to see this property, contact Cliff Spring at 330 6454155 or check it out at confidentrealty.com store for a set of sterling silver earrings necklaces or a shiny new ring and a great selection of watches for the guys too shop for valentine's day at the jewelry store 97 west jackson street in millersburg and wayne dale found something troy and got back to back buckets well they did they found something open on that left hand side kylie geyser has got a couple of Pretty good shots on that left side there, just driving the bucket. So I think Wayne Highland's going to talk about that and shore that defense up a little bit. Big second half, though, for Highland really shooting the lights out. Well, they're shooting well from three-point range. This might be their best three-pointing effort I've seen this year tonight. And kind of been waiting for this for Highland. You knew it was there because they got girls that can shoot the three, and they're all connecting well tonight. Miles Tootsman's really caught fire as well. Still played into the game to go. Of course, this game is on the video live streamed on the WKLM YouTube page, courtesy of the Claxton communication team of Casey Claxton and Sean Troyer. We're also on FM 95.3 and WKLMFM.com. Michael Hammond back at WKLM Sports Central. Matt Coy alongside Troy Fritz for the broadcast. In the fourth quarter, Highland hands the ball out of the timeout. So this one pass goes out top to Haberger, dribbles it to the foul line, gets the handoff down to Ashley Mullet, drive to the lane, lay up by Moley. Mulla off the glass, no good. Rebound knocked to the four. It's finally picked up by McKenna Bainey. Wayne Dale has the ball. And Kylie Geyser across midcourt. Crossover to the foul line. Gets it out top to Bainey. Right wing now to Audrey Troyer. Her pass goes out top to Alyssa Geyser. Now on the left wing. Geyser drive. Baseline knocked loose. Picks it back up. Kicks the left corner neck to Kylie Geyser. Her three pointer is going to be knocked down. Big second half now, Kylie Geyser, especially in this fourth quarter. Yeah, she continues to stand out here for Wayndale. Seven points for Kylie Geyser in the fourth and 17 for the ball game. 60 to 49 Highland, now 11 point advantage. Stutzman drive, spins around to the paint. Gets it out top now to Macy Mullet. Backs it up to the corner, now the Stutzman. Gets the handoff now to Ashley Mullet to reset the offense for the Lady Hawks. Mullet dribbles it to the foul line, cut off. Shovels it out top to Mallory Stutzman, and she'll take it down to the foul line. Left point to Ellie Habiger. She'll find Macy Mullen. Back to Ashley Mullen. Head fake. Jab step, direct traffic at the top of the key. Now crossover to the foul line. Left wing to Stutzman. Her three-pointer is going to be good. Atta girl, Mal. Stutzman has 11 third three-pointer coming for her in the second half. 63-49 Highland. Wayndell has the ball. 3.45 to go. Kylie Geyser across midcourt and stolen away by Macy Mullen. And that'll be a turnover on Wayne Dale, their ninth. Macy Mullen to the front court. Bounce pass inside goes to Ellie Haberger. Haberger up under move. Her layup off the last. No good, but a travel is going to be called. And she's just a half a step off on those up and under moves. <laughs> Co Coach Slayball is replaying it for the yeah. officials saying no. That, was, that was a loft. That's right. <laughs> <laughs> good move there by Ellie. I think she agreed with Coach Slayball. No doubt. So Wayne Dell will have it. <laughs> Brady's still displaying what went on. <laughs> <laughs> Here's Kylie Geyser with it in the backcourt for the Golden Bears. Now dribbles it across the timeline, working against Evie Mass. Crossover, cut off, kicks it out top, Cheyenne Chup, right wing Tiana Mast. She'll dribble it, she'll find Kylie Geyser top of the key. Now to the left wing. Geyser surveys it on the dribble. Still with it. Now out top goes to Alyssa Geyser. Dribbles the right point. The handoff on the right side goes to Bainey. Bainey to the corner. Backs it up now. Bainey to the foul line. Out top to Cheyenne Chup. Three minutes to play. Chup now right of the foul line. Gets the handoff. Here's Alyssa Geyser for three-pointer. Blocked by Ashley Mullen, but she gets called for the foul. High defense, but that'll send Alyssa Geyser to the foul line to shoot three. Yeah, there were definitely a foul there. But that shows the quickness of Ashley, too, because Alyssa Geyser's got this beautiful quick step-back jumper. Ashley closed on that really quick, Matt. Certainly did. Her second personal. First team foul on Highland in the fourth. But now three free throws for Alyssa Geyser, but the first one is no good. Alyssa Geyser has nine points on the night, looking for her first point of the fourth quarter. And that is up. It's going to be good. 
After the game, we'll be announcing the Six Bunnies player of the game. Six Bunnies, your one-stop shop for all things custom apparel. Stay up to date with our latest offerings on Facebook and Instagram and shop online at sixbunnies.com. Second free, make a third free throw, rather, is good. Makes two of three. 63-51 Highland, they had the ball. Macy Mullet to the front court. To the foul line, her 15-footers up in the air. Going to be knocked down. Nobody picked her up. Elementary. Macy Mullen has eight. Her first point since the first quarter. 65-51 Lady Hawks. Wayne Dell ball. Kylie Geyser dribbles it left wing. Knocked loose to the four. And going to be a foul called on Joplin Yoder. That'll be her second, second team foul on Highland. Yeah, Joplin continue to play hard defense there for the Lady Hawks. Two and a half to play. Highland a 65-51 advantage. Wayne Dale to inbound the ball beneath their own backboard. Alyssa Geyser. Looking, bounce pass to the corner to Cheyenne Chup. Back to Alyssa Geyser. Knocked out of bounds off of her leg, though. And that will be a Wayne Dale turnover. And that was a quick hands of Ashley Mullet reaching there, knocking that off of her leg. Wow. Tenth turnover on Wayne Dale, and Highland has it. Here's Ashley Mullet to the right wing. Bounce pass, Joplin Yoder to the corner. Drive, lane, her layup going to be good. Joplin Yoder has 17 for the ball game. 67-51 Highland. Wayne Dale ball to the front court. Kylie Geyser out top to Cheyenne Chup. Left wing now to Alyssa Geyser. Who's out top of the pass down to Kylie Geyser. Dribbles it to the baseline. Her shot up and no good. Rebound knocked around a couple of times. Goes out of bounds. And that's going to be off of Wayne Dale's hand. So it will be Highland ball with just under two minutes to go. McAway alongside Troy Fritz for the broadcast this evening from Wayne Dale. Highland with it. Here's Ashley Mullitz. Bounce pass. Joplin Yoder to the corner. Yoder spins around to the right block. Head fake. Kicks it right wing back to Stutzman. Out top to Macy Mullet. Through the hands now of Ashley Mullet. A little too strong and out of bounds. And that will be the 10th turnover on Highland tonight. Wayne Dale continuing to play good defense to the defending the perimeter very well. Trish Troyer is in. And Macy Mullet will have a seat. Good minutes from the freshman tonight. Had an outstanding game. And Wayne Dale has it. Here's Kylie Geyser into the front court. Picks it up. Looking. Nobody open now. Finally finds McKenna Bainey. Bainey to the foul line, to the lane. Crashing in there. Rolls the foul on that shot. No good, but the foul on Mallory Stutzman. And nobody was going to stop McKenna Bainey there. She saw the lane. Defender was backpedaling, and she just kept going hard to the hole. And she took it there with determination. McKenna Bainey, 5'7", senior. And she has 12 points this evening. Go along with four boards for her. That free throw going to be in and out and back in. Got the bounce. 67-52 Highland. Bainey lines up her second free throw attempt. And that's going to be no good. Rebound. Knocked to the four and tracked back down by McKenna Bainey. And Wayne Dale keeps the basketball. Elisa Geyser back to Kylie out top. Kylie dribbles it, bounce pass right to the foul line. Elisa Geyser inside the Persinger. Her shot off the glass and good. Yeah, real good move there by Georgia Persinger. Five points for her and now a 67-54 Highland lead. Baseball pass by Mullet to the corner. Goes over to Trish Stoyer inside Joplin Yoder. Her shot going to be blocked, but a foul is called on Cheyenne Chup. Yeah, good defense here by Cheyenne Chup. Got her a little bit low with the body, but... There's the two big girls going at it down low map. Second personal on Shup, third team foul on Waynedale. And Joplin Yoder, 17 points on the night. Yeah, that free throw is up and is going to be no good, but such a weapon Joplin is, Troy, here. We've seen her get better and better as the season has gone on. Her post moves are so good down there. I mean, she's, she's very hard to handle down in the post. Second free throw going to be good. Make it 18 points for Joplin Yoder. Two points shy of tying her season high. 68-54, Lady Hawks. 53 seconds again counting. Wayne Dale ball. Kylie Geyser kicks it down top to Chup. Right wing now to McKenna Bainey. Now top of the pass to Kylie Geyser. Dribbles the left wing. Geyser to the baseline, cut off. Kicks the left wing to Cheyenne Chup. Out top now to McKenna Bainey. Right side to Georgia Persinger. Back to Bainey inside the foul circle. 30 seconds. Now to Alyssa Geyser. Bobson in sight, still one away by Trish Troyer. And that'll be the 11th Wayne Dale turner for the game. And Hyla has it in the final 20 seconds. 
Mallory Stutzman has Highland trying to dribble after this clock in the final game of regular season action. Final seven seconds, Ashley Bullitt will hold on to the basketball and that will do it. And Highland gets the win by the final score of 68 to 54, an impressive road victory tonight. Highland now to 20 and two to cap off regular season play and also eight consecutive wins for the second ranked team in division four. Wayne Dale dropping to 16 and five and snapping a three game winning streak with one more regular season game left to play. Again, the final score tonight, Highland a winner 68 to 54 over Wayne Dale. Back to wrap it up after this on WKLM. Get your vehicle back on the road smooth and problem free with Village Motors Collision Center. Hi, this is Deke Miller, and our Collision Center works on all makes and models and has available deductible assistance, along with loaner and rental vehicles available for your use, complimentary oil change packages, not to mention that we are the preferred repair shop for most insurance companies. Ask us about our cleanup packages with four great packages from basic to premium by appointment only starting at $19.95. For collision repair, make your first stop at Village Motors in Millersburg. This is Matt Kinsey. At First Federal Community Bank, our mission is to empower the financial well-being of our community one person at a time. Through integrity and quality, we earn the trust of our customers and exceed their expectations. First Federal Community Bank, investing in our community since 1898. Serving your banking needs in Dover, New Philadelphia, Yerkesville, Sugar Creek, Berlin, and Mount Hope. First Federal Community Bank, member FDIC. Everyone knows that Millersburg Tire Service sells a lot of farm tires like BKT, Seat, Firestone, Michelin, Titan, Galaxy, D-Stone, and Lions. Hi, this is Brad Smucker from Millersburg Tire Service, and we also sold over 10,000 heavy-duty truck tires last year in 29 different brands. We can mount them in our truck bay, or we can drop them off. If it runs on tires, Millersburg Tire Service has it, or we can get it from the many suppliers that we have available. Plus, we sell tires in Ohio and all the surrounding states. When you want the best, call Millersburg Tire Service at 330-674-1085 and talk to one of our knowledgeable sales staff celebrating our 70th year in the tire business. Looking to upgrade the exterior of your home? Siding is indeed the best bang for your dollar. Hi, I'm Nevin Mast with Home Siding Contractors. We have the best siding on the market today, and the low-maintenance aspect of our siding is what our customers enjoy the most. Probia Siding fits that bill exactly. No frequent painting or staining with wood siding. No routine sealing like stucco. Probia Siding lasts. Check out all we have to offer at our new and improved showroom east of Millersburg, and let our experienced sales team show you how affordable our products can be. Stop by Roadies IJ for great Valentine's Day specials now through February 14th while supplies last at the Posey Pad Floral Shop. This is Scott Roadie and the Posey Pad has everything you need for that someone special. Fresh cut flowers, fresh arrangements, potted plants, candles, candy, plush animals, cards, and so much more with specials you'll adore. We deliver to all of Holmes County, but order early to ensure delivery by Valentine's Day by calling 674-6399. That's 674-6399. Get savings you'll love during the Valentine's Day sale at the Posey Pad Floral Shop inside Rody's IJ Marketplace in Millersburg. Highland gets the win 68 to 54 over the Lady Golden Bears. As for Highland, they led 17 15 after one after a buzzer beater by Ashley Mullet. Six lead changes and also two ties in the first. And Highland had a two point lead. And then in the second quarter, four more lead changes and also one more tie. Each team scored 14 in the second quarter, including another three point buzzer beater by Ashley Mullet just beyond midcourt. She would bury it. And Highland would take the lead by two at halftime as a result at 31. 229. A big third quarter was a big difference for Highland. It's kind of mirrors last year when you think about a close game and Highland had a big third quarter against Wayne Dale back at the recenter. They do it again tonight and Highland outscored Wayne Dale 26 to 10 in the third. Highland wins it uh, with a 57 39 lead through three quarters. And Highland gets the win by the final margin of 68 to 54 tonight. For Highland, leading the way for them, they had three players in double figures and leading the way that was Ashley Mullet. As for Mola on the evening, she would go five for nine from three-point distance, two for eight from a two-point range. Mola would finish up with 19 points. That is the 19th time she's been in double figures on the season for Highland. Also, Joplin Yoder had an outstanding evening as well, as Joplin would have finished up for her on the night going 
8 for 10 for two-point range, 2 for 4 for the foul line. Joplin Yoder had 18 points, and for her, just two points shy of tying her season high in the 15th time that Joplin has been in double figures also on the year. And also in double figures was Mallory Stutzman, who was scoreless at halftime, but 11 second-half points for Mallory. She was 3 for 7 from three-point distance, 1 for 2 from two-point range, Mallory Stutzman had 11 points, and for her, the 15th time she's been in double figures on the season as well. Nine points scored by Trish Troyer, who can three three-pointers on the evening. Eight points for freshman Macy Moab, and three for Ellie Haberger, running out the Highland total of 68 points. For Waynedale, leading the way for them, they had three players in double figures. Kylie Geyser led the way, and she was... Two for five from beyond the arc, five for eight from two-point range, one for two for the foul line. Kylie Geyser had 17 points, also 13 points for McKenna Bainey. Bainey was one for two on three-point tries, four for nine from two-point range, two for seven for the foul line for her total. A 13 for Bainey and Alyssa Geyser in double figures. She was one of five on three-point tries, one for three from two-point range, six for seven for the foul line. Alyssa Geyser had 11 points. Eight points scored by Cheyenne Shump, five for Georgia Persinger. And, of course, Odessa Miller did not score. She was injured in the first half, did not return for Wayne Deal, and that was their total of 54. Final score tonight, Highland a winner, 68-54 to 54 over Wayne Deal. Now for the final team numbers, here's Troy Fritz. And thank you very much, Matt. For Highland on the night, they would go 13 of 27 behind the arc, good for 48%. Great shooting night for the Hawks there. Wayne Deal would go 5 of 14 for 35%. Wayne Deal 14 of 27 from two point range while Highland again shot 12 of 23 from behind the arc good for 52 percent. Highland 2 of 4 from the free throw line 50 percent on the night while Wendell would go 11 of 19 good for 58 percent. Rebounding advantage goes to the Lady Hawks they grabbed 32 rebounds compared to 24 for Wayndale. Wayndale will commit 11 turnovers Highland 10 on the night. Individual rebounding leaders, Mallory Stutzman had eight boards, three at the offensive end, seven rebounds for Joplin Nutter. She had five offensive boards on the evening as well, and also five rebounds for Ashley Mullen. For Waynedale leading the way, five rebounds for McKenna Bainey for the game, and also five boards for Cheyenne Chup, who had three at the offensive end, and five rebounds for Alyssa Geyser tonight. Highland wins it 68-54 over Waynedale in a huge third quarter for the Lady Hawks tonight. Well, they come out shooting very well tonight, but yeah, Big third quarter indeed. Three-point shooting. We said Mal Stutzman scoreless in the first half. She came out and caught fire, which Mal will do that to you. You know, Wayndale or Highland didn't do a lot wrong tonight, Matt. No question about that. You think about uh, what Ashley Mullet she can do and uh, the two buzzer beaters tonight. That was thrilling. But Joplin Yoder, again, just continues to get better and better and really dominating inside. Well, I, yeah, you mentioned that off air. You know, I think just game by game we see the improvement in her, her post play. And, you know, Matt, she's getting so strong in her. What I like about her is she knows where she's at down there. And she knows where every inch of real estate's at when she has the basketball and that's making her very, very hard to stop in the post. Joplin Yoder, our six monies player of the game, 18.7 rebounds for Joplin Yoder. Again, she'll be our six monies player of the contest. Wayne, again, uh, really, uh, you think about this game other than maybe the third quarter, they were right with this uh, Highland basketball team and you just kind of hope from their end that Odessa Miller uh, is not hurt too badly, we'll have to yeah. see, but still a very good basketball team either way. Well, it doesn't. You know, Odessa went down early in that first period, Matt, and what I loved about what Wayne Dale did, they rallied. Their younger players still up. Alicia Geyer, Geyser had a great game, the sophomore, excuse me, Kylie Geyser. But, you know, that, Bainey stepped up and played great for them as well. And, you know, and then inside Chups, Chup played a strong second quarter. So, Wayne Dale did a lot of good things tonight. Losing a death Miller in that first period hurt them, no doubt about that. And we hope she's okay. Highland does get the win, 68-54. to Again, they'll close out their regular season with a record of 20-2 and two and eight winners in a row. And they'll play, of course, their first sectional tournament game as the host in the top seed in the Division IV East District. They'll be playing host to TCC uh, next Wednesday, February 21st. And for Waynedale, they will, with the loss, drop the 16-5. They snap a three-game winning streak. They'll close out their regular season with a tough game on their home floor this Thursday against uh, Chippewa. Of course, Chippewa won the Wayne County Athletic League uh, Championship this year. And for us, we'll have boys basketball tomorrow night with West Holmes at Cambridge. Thursday, girls basketball. It'll be... Uh, Claire Fork at West Holmes for that. And both those games will be video live streamed on YouTube. Friday, boys basketball, West Holmes at Ashland. That'll be on FM 95.3 and WKLMFM.com only. And then Saturday, boys basketball, the IVC Showcase. Highland will take on uh, likely either Malvern, Buckeye Trail, or East Canton, one of those teams. And we'll know later on midweek about exactly what time they'll play, 5.30 or 7 o'clock on Saturday night. 
That'll wrap things up for us. We want to thank our video live stream partners, Claxon Communications, allowing us to bring you this live stream coverage this evening, that being Casey Claxon and Sean Troyer. And thanks to Michael Hammond back at WKLM Sports Central. For Troy Fritz, I'm Mac Roy, the final score. It was Highland 68 and Waynedale 54. So long, everybody. Thank you for watching High School Basketball from your hometown radio station, FM 95.3 WKLM. Tonight's broadcast has been a production of WKLM Radio and Claxon Communications.